Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Platinum adventures up in here. Last time, well, we'll see what we did last time, because it tells us. Started from Eterna City, used rock. <laughs> I love that it's just like, yeah, I used Rock Smash at this route specifically. Doesn't mention that I beat one of the admins of Galactic, I guess. Ether was obtained, caught a mail routes, beat William. <laughs> Don't mention Galactic. No, I beat William. He was the real mastermind behind everything. I don't know if it's, like, still considered day or not. But just in case it is, I made a save state, and let's see. Will this... Because we have a rare candy in here somewhere. And I'm going to see if I can just give it to Zoro to make him evolve. Then again, he might not have all the... Ba ba ba. <laughs> All the necessary happiness. Well, we might as well see. Nap, he didn't evolve. Sadness. <laughs> Could the one downside to playing at the time that I do, the ones that are necessary to evolve in <laughs> the day, probably won't. In fact, let's see. Where's the clock? I think it was down instead. Oh, interesting. We c you can super flip through them if you want. I wish they would tell me, what do you consider this time game? But it could just be, eternally, Zoro is a Badoo. And I'll have to, like, jump on outside of stream hours to activate him. Then again, could just be that he's not happy with me. Actually hates my guts. And that's why he didn't evolve. But either way... Well, first things first. I forget. Do you... Does my... Who has the... Okay, good. You don't have the item. I don't think anybody has the EXP share for some reason. I think I took it off to get, like, all the experience onto somebody while I was trying to find... A Ralts. But, either way, come along, Indigo. You are now on the team. And then if we ever need to cut things, I guess we can always come back and grab Zoro. But either way, we shall give the... EXP share to Indigo. And overall, see about things. Then again, I guess I could always... Because we're not getting much use out of Prince right now. His moves aren't all that great. So I guess we can always bring Zoro and leave Prince. <laughs> I wanted to be named Violet because of Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. Well, we already deposited. I'm a fool. Gotta manage my team. Then again, we could always bring in Scarlet and replace Zoro as the poor little guy. Come along, Scarlet. You, you replace Zoro, for he was just a fool. He doesn't love me enough to evolve at the night. Ah, because I got Scarlet on the same route as Indigo. Makes sense. That's where it all comes from. Here you go, Scarlet. You can now learn Cut. Now that makes me wonder if there's, like, a Pokemon that can learn an HM, but then loses the ability if they evolve, like, <laughs> they can only have this move if they evolve having it. That, that'd be interesting. Hmm, Leech Seed. It steals some HP from the foe to heal the user every turn. Oh, a move that won't miss. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Hmm. I guess we'll get rid of Leech Seed because Stun Spore is a lot more, like, applicable to things. And now I have no idea what we're going to do here. Maybe grind, level people up, because I don't know what there's to do. We'll begin at the beginning of this here town. Talk to people. See what's going on in this hellhole. You're a trainer, are you? You've got two choices of challenges, either the gym or a contest, right? I don't know. Yeah, because this way... Oh, apparently leads to... Solosian Town. Solosian. I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region. I'd hope I'd been hoping to find the contest hall, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people are very kindly led the local people very kindly led me to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you the contest hall? Sure, why not? Ah, please follow me. Might as well. It's going to be the big old building, isn't it? Ah, it's not. It's not this cathedral-looking thing. This is the contest hall. Do Please do go inside. Why does it almost look like a coliseum? Calling all enthusiasts. I lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to clean up some contests with a dance move I came up with. Why would you do that? Why would you go all the way to the mountains for 30 years? I can feel the baby stroller getting heavier each and every day. I wonder what kind of Pokemon my child become friends with at first. For a moment there, I thought she was going to say, I wonder what kind of Pokemon my child will become. Of which lady? Don't. The cathedral-looking thing is a cathedral. Ah, you never know. Sometimes a cathedral-looking thing has other purposes, like hospital. Papa! Mama! Queer child. The Puffin House. Delicious puffins. Smiles for all. Hello. Here you may cook berries and turn them into puffins. Would you like to cook alone with other people? How about info? Throw the berry into the pot and get stirring. Watch for an arrow to show which way direction to stir. Be quick. If you stir too slowly, you'll burn the batter. But not too quick. If you stir too fast, the batter will overflow. If you do well, you'll cook up a delicious... Excuse me, Poffin. You may cook alone or in a group of four people. With more cooks stirring, everyone will get more Poffins. Ah, so this is... This here is mean to me. Oh, I have to have a Poffin case. Oh, this is discrimination. Here's my advice for cooking tasty Poffins for your Pokemon crew. In the beginning, while it's still a batter, swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, churn it fast in big circles. In the end, make a wish for it to turn scrumptious and whirl it. Eating good food makes people in Pokemon more energetic and happy. In that sense, we're exactly alike. Have you got some berries to make delicious puffins? The key ingredient is a rare berry. And the more cooks you have, the more delicious the puffin. At the Wi-Fi club, I can cook a puffins of my friends. Ah, uh, just rub it in my face, why don't you? <laughs> well, I pray your Feebas will, won't hate the dry flavor. The inevitable Feebas will suffer greatly, I guess. I use a Firestone on my Pokemon, and it evolved! Good for you. <laughs> so Spirit the Shiny Spirit Tomb has a friend. Why is it silent in here? We cannot read the minds of others, which causes us to feel fear and doubt. But to control the aspect of the world beyond our senses is an impossibility. Weirdo. When people in Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It could even make the world one. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Why is everyone weird in here? Pokemon, people, it's only natural that we're all so very different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon on if it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. That people are lonely is only natural. It gives compa give me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past, though time can heal some sadness. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. So it's like, is this Pokemon Christianity? 
the art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is such a wondrous cycle. Also, dare come for my throat, how dare you? <laughs> if the strong and able do too much, they limit the contribution of others. The strong must show restraint. This enables everyone to live together and share responsibility. Mind and matter. It's no good if one is stronger than the other. Balance is what's needed. That's the key. The fact that it was just silent in there. It's kind of weird. They call me Mr. Goods. No one knows my real name. No, not even I do. I dedicate myself to seeking rarities. It's what I live for. <laughs> I'll find something rare for you, so talk to me some other time. I can't decide what accessories I should dress up my Pokemon with. There are just so many kinds. Not really. There's like five. I like to live in Hearthome when I get married, but my boyfriend wants to live in Veilstones because it's the because <laughs> of its game corner. Get came get get game cornered, bitch. Hi, oh, you're a trainer. That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? All right, sorry. There I go running my mouth again. My name's Bebe. You know the PC box systems? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon name to be give? At the very least, I'll easily get my Umbreon. All right, who's getting sidelined now? Too many decisions. Hmm. Because I do like Amp. Hmm. Maybe Charm. Hmm. Is there really anything that, beyond Cut... I guess he doesn't want to live with his GF because he wants to gamble. Now he just doesn't want to live in this specific city with his GF. Because he wants to gamble. Hmm. At the very least, we'll temporarily store you. This makes me wish that I could, like, carry more Pokemon on me. But, like, only use six at a time, actively. Wait, that's not the place. This is the Poffin House. That's not Bebe's house. We have to get an Eevee. Give me Eevee. That Eevee, I got it from a good friend in Johto who has a lot of them. Who knows how many Eevees he's raised over the years. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please, be good to it. Hello, Eevee. We shall nickname the Eevee. What shall we call Eevee? I forgot about the Eevee, so I'm resetting for a female. Ah, uh, that's true. If I, like, had the time, I'd probably try to do that myself. But... For now, I just need to think of a nickname for this one. Hmm... Trying to think of a name. Hmm. Hmm. For some reason, my brain says, We shall call you Shine. I have way too many Pokemon that I want to use. And he comes in at level 20. Good, good. What kind of moves do you have? Quick-tempered, likes sweet food. Has Tackle, Helping Hand, Sand Attack, and Growl. A nice basic move set. So yeah, now I'll probably have to start doing like grinding in the middle of the day. 
the Pokemon Fan Club. All trainers, welcome. Hello, I'm of Jubilee TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? I uh, guess. Thank you. Let's not waste any time. Your Staravia is quite appealing, isn't it? May I have your comment on your Staravia? What shall we call you? What's Union? <laughs> I wonder if I could just select Staravia. <laughs> what do you have to comment of your Staravia? Staravia. Well, I guess... Coolness. I think we answered that to something else before, but sure. There's only like two people in here. Welcome to the Pokemon fan club. Oh, you're Nova. It's very friendly towards you. I can tell you treat it kindly. Huzzah. What about you, Charm? What do you think of me? It's warming up to you, that's my impression. So more than likely, it's just that, uh, buh buh buh. Zoro hasn't warmed up to me. What about the <laughs> indigo who I just got? It seems to dislike you a little. How dare. I guess we'll have to start, hmm. Like, actually using you in battle, then, to try and... Get you to go. Hello, hello. How I say do you do? I am the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. Indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed puffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because the giving of puffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet puffin, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy puffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Puffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Puffin case to be a gift from me to you. Now I just need to find out what things make beauty. I urge you to fill it with Puffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Oh dear, magical... Puffin case, unto me reveal your secrets. Raises toughness, smartness, cuteness, dry. Ah, that's what that's what chat was meaning. Ah, check tag. Kind of spicy. Damn it! It's the one berry I don't have a lot of. I guess I will have to do gardening, but I don't have any, like, watering cans or anything. Hey, Orenberry, are you dry? It's kind of all over the place. So I guess I could make puffins out of Orenberries. And raspberries, maybe. Ooh, and bl uh... Bluckberries. So there's more than one berry that I can make things of. Well, since I have a puffin case, I guess let's go and uh, try to make some beauty puffins, I guess. After we check this here store. I don't think we checked it before. Or did we? The item revive is something I could use now, but I've already got two gym badges, so I can't buy any. Do you know uh, Amity Square? It's a happy and cheerful place. You can find accessories there you can't buy in Pokemarts. In fact, let me see. Hard mail, heel ball, nest ball. Guess let's see. Do you have any... <laughs> they say you can buy accessories here, but I find nothing. I've been lied to. And uh, just to be safe, we'll make a safe state while I learn this mini game. That's already gonna cheat me out of my puffins. While you be cheated out of your puffins, remember, stay hydrated. Let's throw in an orange berry. Oh, 
Oh. I think I'm doing it. Ah, uh, that's what. I'm going. I'm stirring. Just as you say. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It'll burn because you're making me stir in different directions. I'm doing it. I'm trying. Touch mini game. It's touching my. I'm doing it, game. I am literally doing it, but it's being mean. Um, game, please. Or is it be emulator here? I don't know. I think I did bad. I made a dry puffin at least. <laughs> I accepted one. It was male. It was shiny. I reset. That is my shiny luck. Ah. Uh. You heard us all, the us people who just can't get any. All right, let's see if I can do better. Seems like a difficult mini game for me. I just don't know the secrets. Because the moment I start going fast, it's like change direction. Hey, go fast. I'm trying. I'm trying, game. You're not accepting my input. Like, seriously, I'm doing mini circles. And it's just like, eh, I don't wanna. That one came out bad. Oh, but it's a level two. I have two puffins at least. And I guess it doesn't, we're not talking to you. You're pointless to me. I reset the shiny because I want a female. My shiny luck is ridiculous. Knowing you, you're going to get a, a shiny female Eevee just off rip. The moment you get one. This place is beautiful, but perhaps even too much so. People, Pokemon, people, and nature are in perfect harmony here. At the Lost Tower, people unburden themselves of unbearable sorrow. You'll understand that what I mean if you visit the Lost Tower on Route 209. The Tower of Sorrow. People die there. I could see Pokemon all day long, but there sure are many kinds. How many are there now? Uh, five billion. When I take my baby out in his stroller, I see the town in a different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. There's something wrong with your child. I put my versus secret through its paces a lot. I battled this one intriguing trainer over and over using it. She asked me, do you like me? Like, oops. <laughs> hey there, how's it going, trainer? You being here tells me you're doing the challenge of the gym leaders. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. You're questioning why, and the answer is she's not here. Not to worry, though. We know she's at the contest hall. Come back another time, okay? I'll be waiting right here. We shall execute her for her crimes of negligence. Ooh, Amity Square. Stroll with your Pokemon. My shiny luck is good, but my female luck is bad. I'm on reset 50, and I got another shiny Eevee. Y you monster. You are a monster. Oh, my hero. Mother? Oh, hi, Neon. 
Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom, so you might be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Neon about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. How did you get here before me? Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. I've got glitter power. Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It'll lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. Kinky. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Who is that lady with the puffy hair to the right? Were you surprised to see me, Neon? I got bored, so I came out to Hearth Home for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Not dressed that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I now have a dress. I'm sure it'll look good on you after all. I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Contests will give you a different look on the mini charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Yes, I beg your pardon. Ah, we oui. contests are you are here for? I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Heart Home, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, très fantastique. Fantina being myself, of course. Mm, let me see. You also seem to be très strong. In fin, so it shall be I wait for you at the gym. I didn't have to do a contest. A contest has three parts. Visual, dance, and acting. The contestants get graded in those categories. <laughs> a Pokemon fed Poffins does better in visual evaluations. I've been learning how to cook delicious Poffins at the Poffin House. Hmm. This is the reception counter for a linked super contest. You may join a group of friends, but I have no friends. You're going in a contest? Ah, uh, yep. And you have a puffin case. Let me gift you of the fantabulous, wonderful puffin. A mild puffin. Feed that puffin to a Pokemon. You're going to enter a contest. Oh, and word of advice, go take a run at the contests. The best way to get ready is to get some practice first. You can take practice sessions at the counter on the right. I'm going to guess that this is like a dress-up room. Oh, no, this is entrance. Hmm. At uh, the cool contest, you gotta pull off a cool move. Gets the judges all excited. If the judges' excitement peaks, you score massive bonus points. Hmm, let me see. A charm. Kind of all over the place. Ah, uh, so you've got cool, smart, and tough. But not anything beautiful. What about you, Lancelot? You have, you have beauty, tough, and cool. So maybe we should enter you first. You also have accessories on you. <laughs> they put up photos of the winners. Ah, the conceit. The basics are important. It takes practice to win contests. Well, I might as well try a ca uh, practice one. Registration counter for practice sessions. You may practice in the categories of visual, dance, and acting. Would you like to join a practice? Uh, what would you like to know? Practice. A contest involves judging the three categories. Here you may practice each of those categories before you actually enter a real contest. There's just one thing. Your Pokemon must know at least two moves. Otherwise, it will not qualify for our super contest. Visual. All right. Judging here is based on the visual appeal of Pokemon. Scoring is based on voting by the audience. The more popular the Pokemon, the higher its score. The Pokemon are scored in two categories, condition points and dress-up points. Uh, condition points. Our scored Pokemon's condition in one of five categories. The five conditions are cool, beauty, blah, blah, blah. These conditions can be enhanced by theme Poffins to your Pokemon. If the audience likes what they see, marks will appear. Obviously, the more marks there are, the more popular the Pokemon. What about dance? In a dance competition, the four contestants take on different parts. One becomes the ma uh, main dancer, and the remaining three are backup dancers. The main dancer scores points by performing inspired dance moves that the others can't copy. The backup dancers earn high scores by duplicating the dance steps laid down by the main dancer. Interesting. And acting. In the acting competition, four Pokemon will perform their moves for our panel of judges. The more Pokemon stands out, the higher it scores. Each Pokemon will get the chance to perform four times. Interesting, I guess. 
Well, let's try a practice, I guess. Visual practice. Oh, it didn't really matter. I guess cool. All of them are able. Because they have moves. <laughs> because RNG is mean to me. Yep, found another one. Three shinies. <laughs> Please just yell, baby, Eevee, <laughs> during the Saturday stream. <laughs> But it is insane that you got so many shinies, but no, like, female ones. Oh, I, I missed the, the theme. Oh, well. Oh, theme. The created. What does that even mean? Genuinely. What does the created even mean? <laughs> to Dexter and call this rehearsal. Sure thing, I've got it. Entry number one, Jocelyn has entered the contest of Punchy. Entry number two, Gage with Choo Choo. So if they tied, I feel like I'm going to get obliterated. Celeste with Chirpy. I have to beat Chirpy's four. One. I got obliterated. It's all paid to win with all the puffins. Let's see. Let's practice and dance, I guess. Let's go of charm. Come on, charm. Surely you can dance. And hello, hello. We are suffering the world that is uh, training. So let's get off a of da Charm, you need to dance just like the main dancer. After dancing twice, the main dancer switches with a backup dancer. You get to be the main dancer last. Do a dance that no one else remembers. Front. Front. Okay, front, front. I don't know how good I'm doing. I gotta pay attention. All right. I think I got annihilated. And this is a practice. Dance quite well. It's ready for the real contest. All right, at least. Apparently we did good there. It's an actual mini game there. I guess let's tr now try acting. Oh, let me quickly go back. I keep assuming it's all A's. Wait, what happened to the tunes? Yeah, what? Wait a minute. Has it been not doing it all this whole time? What the hell? Hmm. This is weird. One second. Alright, that should fix it. Thank you for informing me. 
It was unaware. <laughs> it just decided to bug out for some reason. Maybe something updated and then it's just like, ah, you have to be Weird. All right, now let's see. <laughs> Hilariously, for the dancing one, we had no music. All right, acting. Couldn't be in anything. Let's go for cute. Wait a minute, this is, uh... By acting, not a perf like actual looks. Then let's see. So we have tough, cool, and beauty. So let's go with the cool one. <laughs> Hold a moment, though, though. I think something came up. Brr. Just a quick little thing. <laughs> acting, you kill the judges. If only. Right, acting. And let's go with, uh, cool. I wonder if you can actually choose, like, the different things that you can actually enter in or if it's random. I'm always number four. Looks like everyone's here. Let's begin our practice acting competition. First, choose the move your Pokemon perform. Choose the judge who you'd like to rate the performance. Each contestant gets the performance four times. Get your Pokemon to leave a stronger impression on the judge and score more hearts than the others. Well, here's to great performances by all. I guess Dexter. He has a heart on him. Perform agility. <laughs> Here's voltage went up. I liked all that. I wonder what voltage means. <laughs> Apparently Jordan doesn't like... Oh, someone already performed for that judge. That's weird. So it's like... Nah. Yeah. I perform for you, Dexter. Look at my metal claws. I don't think I understand this. I was very Im he was very impressed with me. The low scoring contestants will perform first. I guess for Dexter again. I sent a message on Twitch. Indeed you did. I don't think I understand contests. Oh no, someone already performed for that judge. I wonder why that matters. Can you not get bonuses or something? not understand. I'm going hard here, it seems. In the next turn, the low-scoring contestants will perform first. I guess we'll just do it again. Ah, uh, less bonus points. It's kind of interesting that, like... Hello, it's me again, Dexter. Another Metal Claw for you. Probably should have done something else, but oh well. Punchy performed submission. He became submission submissive on stage. I find it funny that nobody else is acting for Dexter. Ah, 
plus three. Oh, if final performance, I missed that. I'm a fool. <laughs> Dexter is the hated one. Only I perform for him. The audience is getting pretty excited. Haha, you fool. But he's gonna max out his voltage, I think. Uh, and he's gonna. Celeste is gonna get all the bonus. I feel like that's extra cheaty. Well, hopefully, I'll be able to go first then. And perform for that guy and get his bonus points. Ah, uh, of course, right at the end, where that one frickin' thing cheated me out of my win. Because of that voltage thing. I don't think I like contests. They seem wonky and weird. And of course, the one time that anybody else acted for... The guy is precisely when I wouldn't want anybody else to do it. Oh, now this is the first, like, tricky, tricky one. Hey there! How's it going, champ to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there are the usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast a light on one or they catch you in the light, the battle's on. Okay, now, this is really important. It's about the tiles on the floor. First, find the one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark on it. Advance through the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. If you choose a wrong door, you get sent back here, though. That's how this place is. Go get him, champ to be! <laughs> Certified trainers, Barry. I'm guessing that this is what sends you back. Oh, no, that's your exit. You can come ga <laughs> gaggle at the gym leader. You have a, uh, yeah. Well, I have a normal type that, uh, can punch ghosts, if that's what you're referring to. Yeah, but I want to fight him. Fight me. I don't even need the flashlight. I know which one to go to, but I want to fight all the trainers. Boo, did I scare you? This battle will... You have one Pokemon. Yeah, because I want Indigo to get, like, some in-battle experience. But I suppose we won't be able to. Well, this will be bad. I think it healed me with that. I could have sworn I had less health than that before. I guess quick attack. Yeah, I think I should probably just put the... Kind of annoying. Ah, critical hit finally. Hopefully this will put you down. Darn you. And that's gonna kill me, isn't it? And you get a critical hit! Damn you! I don't like this gym already, it's bullshit.
her to her pain split. You're a ghost. Fuck off. Why do you even know a psychic move? You're a ghost. Ghosts aren't psychic. What's the even point of foresight if it doesn't make everything super powerful against ghosts? Keep bold moves. I don't care about roar. Give up on roar. I just said that game. And I'll just leave and heal because the game is mean. How dare that ghost not mindlessly attack me with ghost attacks when it can't hurt me. He's very rude. It's supposed to favor me, the chosen one. At least they got rid of the Diamond and Pearl version of this gym. You had to do math. Interesting. I guess we'll move things around. Because, like, it, it's hard to do because, like, all these ghost types are going to be like, Blah, we have other moves. But I have to use a move to hit ghost types with my dude. But I guess that means they can't get, like, uh... Can't get stabbed, but still. I forgot to give the boy, uh... Experience share of will. Hey now, you're not even close to the door yet. You have to beat me before you can go, you know. <laughs> At least you have a calculator in there. <laughs> That's true. Let's see if this ghastly can do anything. Hopefully he won't be able to. But knowing the game, he will. Because the world is evil. Would be hilarious if it only knew Confuse Ray against a normal type. Kind of annoying, but... Jump kick! Break through the confusion! I forgot about that. Still did major damage, though. And it killed itself. Well, I guess to get rid of the curse, we'll swap you out. And we'll send in Amp, who has Bite. Why does the child have the Kidnapper Pokemon? That's the real question. Get nommed on, idiot. Stockpiled one. One what? One god? <laughs> By the Drifloon's aftermath. Good for you. Ah, I should have dazzled you by shining my light in your eyes. That would have been cheating. <laughs> like, the gym leader would have come down from on high and smited you. That is what would have happened. You're in to go. Hold. Let's see, did it change? Ah, yeah, it did. And he said I was far away from the door. It is circle target. Fight me. Eek, that's so bright! Surprise attack! But you're the one that went eek. <laughs> How the turntables, indeed. Foresight! Well, luckily, I just used Foresight, so your evasion is worthless to me. Jump kick to see how much damage it does. Maybe it's just good against Ghastly for some reason. I better not have to use Foresight every single time this guy does evasion.
Oh, that's probably gonna hurt bad, isn't it? Okay, didn't hurt that bad, actually. Aftermath is bullshit. Aftermath is shenanigans. And we'll switch off to Amp. We have a move that's like, we're gonna punish you for fainting the enemy's Pokemon. Kinda stupid. Really? I don't like it at the very least. Ba -ba -ba. Hmm, I wonder. Spark. You're a cheatsy little bitch, aren't you? And that should kill it, because it's flying. It's flying! Your strength is deadly, and I have to shield my eyes. I'm going to stab out your eyes in a moment. There's a lot of ones in here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to head back because I don't think they respawn. So while, yes, I'll have to do the who discovered the number or the, the symbol again. It's like, again, it is very shenaniganery. That they're like, we're gonna hurt you even though, like, uh, you beat us. And it's a gym run. So it's just like, at that point, just put Pokemon Sinners on the floors. If you're gonna pull shit like that. Because there is no reason not to run to the Pokemon Center once your Pokemon reach a certain level of dead because of the aftermaths. Considering that so many have Drifloons, apparently. Groudon flew away, as Groudon is thought to know. Ah, it's a square. Yeah, we're just gonna fight everybody, and then do the puzzle. Are you lost? Are you enjoying yourself? Do you want to die, little kid? Every single time I see this kid's, like, sprite... I think that he's like, just like a normal guy. He's an adult businessman. Well, that's mean. Groudon cannot learn the fly HM. Not with that attitude. Well, at least that was a decent critical hit against this, uh, ex-defended Ghastly. Let me guess, you're, uh, you are enjoying yourself. You're the one that used, uh, an item, child. Die. What? Were you just dawdling around, hoping I noticed you for a battle? You know you're gonna get whooped here, don't you? I'm gonna throw you to hell. Ah, uh, man, there goes my plans for the day. I hate when that happens. Oh, he's an ace trainer. But I have charm. Yeah, but I hate when things come out of nowhere and just blast your plans. Because, like, you kind of psych yourself up for your plans, and then life gets in the way, and you're just like, ah, damn it. Come on, break through the confusion. Hell yeah. I hate that they use curse. <laughs> I hate when Groudon can't learn fly. Good job, Indigo. We will swap out to Amp then. I probably should have learned Indigo's moves. Because then we could have sent him out against Ghastly and maybe one-shot him with a psychic move since he's part poison. 
Nom nom nom. How do you bite gas? After it flew away in the same game. That's just what they want you to think. Yeah, send out your haunter, your little grabby hands man. You know that's gonna kill you after I bite you, you know. You have accomplished nothing. All you have done is die. I kind of deserved that, didn't I? I gotta stop mouthing off. We beat Tim Allen, everybody. And since that should make the curse go away, we can fight now, another one. What does it feel like taking one step after another in darkness? I can literally see in the dark. My brightness is enough. So let me guess, I'm gonna foresight, you're gonna curse, I'm gonna high jump kick you, we're all gonna have a fun time. Why'd you even try a sucker punch? Are you like me and you forget interactions? Quick attack. Now you're gonna curse, aren't you? I knew it. I quick attack, I beat you, I swap charm out so she doesn't take more damage from the curse. Me in the mystery zone after using walk through walls. And I'll swap an amp in, who will nom on your Miss Drevis. Bite her hat off. Oh no, this is the one without a hat. Its name is long enough, it makes me feel like it should already be like the doobity doobity doo 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 one. You know what? I can't wait until you go into Luxray mode. Because I think you gain Dark type of that, I think. Unless I'm dumb. I'm probably dumb. Quit side being. Side being? Quit side beaming my cat! As an aside, I've been playing Helldivers 2 recently. It is quite fun. I've only been fighting the the bots, though. You're the kind of person who can keep going forward even to the unknown. Again, I have to read those so flippin' fast. I think I beat everyone on this floor. So we're gonna leave, so we can heal. And then we'll double check everybody to make sure that they're dead and gone. That, you know, that would be a funny gym thing, where after you beat everybody, uh and get the badge, you're forced to walk back through, and since it's the ghost one, only you go back through, the lights are on, it's decrepit, and there's nobody there. You fought ghosts, you idiot. Ghosts were enslaving ghosts. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so we've cleared out two rooms of trainers. Oh, it even moves. We need to go to circle. Then again, I already knew that it moved. It just that it, it moved way across the way this time that I actually noticed. Like, more actively than I did before. Let's see. Heart. Heart is an awesome power. That's sun. That's target. That's moon. That's star. Heart. Luxray is pure electric. Sadness. Oh, we're already here. Okay. saving a lot of data. We failed at contests a lot and beat up some ghost people. Luxray just gives me the feeling that it should be part dark type from its aesthetic. Yeah, now to come to think of it, I think that's an ongoing meme that people think that it gets dark type when it levels up. I guess we'll keep 
charm out, and then maybe we'll throw others in, like Lancelot and Nova, to try and get them to do some combat and soften up the enemy for Amp in there. <laughs> Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country always, I try to learn new things. The old contest in this city, I say to myself in Finn, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Say un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, none. There are 12 dark types in Sinnoh decks. Only 12. Harsh. You are fancy. Hello, Duskull. I feel like I'm not leveled enough for this. Foresight! I'm going to look into your eye. I'm going to steal your eye. I'm going to eat your eye. Ed Farsan, attack on my ass. Oh, that was a critical hit. Jesus Christ. I feel sorry for you. You've done two Will-O-Wisps. And that future sight did hardly anything. But you did get all your health back, so I'm mean now. Seven dragon types and three are legendary. That's hilarious. This Duskull is a sad bitch. Congratulations, you finally hit Will-O-Wisp. You have now inflicted the burn effect. And that's it. I hope that the gym... Why did that do so little damage? And now I'm going to get hurt by that future sight. Kill, please. Indigo leveled up. Good for you, Indigo. Let us swap. I shall send in Nova, who will probably die horribly. Burn half's damage also. I've never known that. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Wing attack. Fucker. Where are gummies that I can force feed my Pokemon so they become intelligent enough to have insomnia? You confused and asleep bird. I'm going to assume your other moves are like curse and something else. You utter lunatic. The evils of the world. Uno momente. I thought that I heard somebody knock on my door. But, like, very lightly, I'm just like, wait, what was that? <laughs> and I had to check it out. During the intermission, Nova woke up and beat a bitch with her wings. And now you're gonna hypnosis me again. The only action <laughs> had to be off, st off screen. It would be hilarious if Nova just woke up in a single turn now. Damn it. Well, if there was anybody to throw Nova out against. I guess it would be this this Haunter. Because now I can just go heal you with a super potion and not really worry all that much. And then I'll just leave Charm as she is because she would need at least two turns to try and fix up. Because no way I'm sending out a burned Pokemon Who's, who would only do half damage. And now you're gonna hypnosis again. I am annoyed game. Do you only know three moves? Because all is hypnosis, confuse Ray, and sucker punch. Is that all that you know? And did you run out of sucker punch already? How? 
I think I will speed up. Okay, there. And we hurt ourselves in our confusion. Gotta speed up. There we go. Can you get hypnosis us again? <laughs> Fucker. Why do you get to use Super Potion on each of your Pokemon? At least I got a critical hit when it would matter. <laughs> Some Pokemon only have one move so the AI can't mess up. So it only has three moves and Sucker Punch had like no power points. And so it's just dead. That is, that's hilarious. Ah, you're gonna send out Ms. Magius instead of Ms. Drevis. I'm gonna try and see if Lancelot can do anything in here. Probably not. Like, I know some of the, like, Pokemon, like, uh, gym leaders and stuff, and, like, normal trainers have wonky movesets, but still. Oh, heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Bubble Beam! And I get to go first! Oh, you bitch. Why do you know a grass-type move? Why do you know a grass-type move? You're a ghost-type with a big hat! I guess Lancelot's dying today. Because he fucking knows a grass move for no reason. Are you gonna give out Magical Leaf as your TM? It's like, surprise, I knew that you got your Pokemon from Rowan all those time ago, and I made sure that my Pokemon had a Grass-type move. Ho ho ho! You slut. Break through the confusion and bite its head off. Please, Ant, for me. Damn it. Please don't hit yourself and die. Kill it. You fucking survived, you whore. Never give up, never surrender. Like, I know that's just a thing people say, but I could also swore that's like a, a phrase from a movie. <laughs> because it's magical. No, it's not, it's a ghost. Ghosts aren't magical, they're supernatural. All right, break out of the confusion and kill it. Survive this Shadow Ball, break out of the confusion, and kill it. Damn it. I'm very annoyed by you. I mean, I guess I can throw you out and try to wing. Do I have any revives? I don't think I have any revives. I don't have any revives. So basically, you're, you're not gonna go first and you're gonna die. Oh, kill! Damn it! I'm going to lose because of fucking Confuse Ray. That's bullshit. I should have healed you is what I should have done. But I didn't think. And you would do nothing. And I don't have anything, really. What are your moves? I forget. Psychic is bad against ghosts. There's basically nothing I can do. What about you? You don't have anything, do you? Nope. I mean, you have fighting moves, but those are kind of physical and wouldn't hit, would they? And plus, you probably wouldn't be fast enough. I hate this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. All because I don't have revives. High jump kick, I guess. Uh, I don't even get to go first. Very annoyed game. Very annoyed at you. You have no fucking health. Sand attack. 
All because of that fucking magical leaf. What do you mean that gives confusion? Fuck off. Oh, it's, it's a confusion, so it should be able to give confusion. No, it shouldn't. He's bad. You already have Confuse Ray. Oh, no, it's not even confusion. It's Psybeam. Why does that give confusion? Bad. Bad game. The game cheated by giving Ms. Magius Magic Leaf. It shouldn't be able to know Magic Leaf. That's all I have left. What next Magical Leaf is gonna inflict burns? Super bullshit game. Cause she lives fucking bullshit, man. None of her Pokemon should have moves. She should be alone in there forever. Insane. With no family. I should just be able to teleport right to her. This is bullshit. She cheated. Because her stupid Pokemon had like a berry. Okay, anyway, I just want to look hard. Her Pokemon had the uh, steroids through the power of berry. I'm back again, you ho. You utter slut. Use your ex steroids. Yeah, I could, but I don't wanna. Give me all the crits, game. Of course, you fucking do that, you spammy little bitch. You should have only one PowerPoint on Will O Wisp for the entirety of your life. You should be able to use Will O Wisp once in all of your time of existence. Never again should you be able to use Will-O-Wisp. You used it once, that's it. You're gone. Your singular purpose for life is over. You're using Pursuit a lot more, probably because you actually hit your moves this time. Then I have to come in here and waste a super potion because you're a little bitch. Come to think of it, it is kind of interesting that Burn halves your attack. Because I guess that makes it, like, just a slightly different poison, where poison, like, gets progressively worse. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you're a bitch. Fuck off, you asshole. I know, like, dig out a berry that cures it. Nah, fucking bullshit, man. I shouldn't have... Oh, wait, I can't... Uh, I hate this. Doesn't look like I have a berry that cures that anyway. Can you even cure burns this early? Do you have to buy specific burn heal? Let's see. Status healers. Paralyze, antidote, burn, revive, old ghetto. Helps defrost. Poison. Burn. Rostberry. And now you're gonna use Will-O-Wisp five billion times, aren't you? Because you're a jerk. You want a bastard. You motherfucker. Give me a crit that annihilates him all the way to hell. Oh, come on. I just cured that. There should be some kind of, like, clemency period or something. Don't know what I mean, but just like... Hey, you already did this to me. I just cured it. Fuck off. That, there should be that kind of period here. I just fucking cured it. Go away. I 
And you're probably gonna die because this guy is a bitch. And of course you get a fucking bullshit, you cunt. There should be a safety period. I cleared this away. Fuck off, never be able to do shit. Should have only a 1% chance to hit. And we'll keep it. It went well enough last time. Oh, hey, you start of Sucker Punch. And that did a lot more damage this time for some reason. And here we go. The Speed Up Chronicles. Yeah, it feels like it's doing more damage to Nova than it did last time. It feels weird. Last time it felt like your diddly D was doing nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm very annoyed. We shall use our singular normal to bring you up a little bit. Very annoying game. Confusion! Fuck off! <laughs> Come on, game! Will you fuck off and let me play? Oh my fucking god, I would like a turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna raise my evasion. Because fuck you. One more. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna die in like one hit. How is Lancelot? Is he okay? Is he safe? He got annihilated by a magic leaf in our last attempt against this gym leader. But now, hopefully Nova will be able to handle this. So long as the confusion is an evil, of which it is being. This is... I hate this setup. It is just the waste my time setup. God, you're bad. Confusion and hypnosis together to just waste my time. It ran out of power points in its moves. At least it's stalling just allowed me to maximize her, like, Nova's evasion. And we're gonna leave Nova out to smack away at Miss Magius a bit. And she'll probably go down. Like, my Nova will probably go down even though we raised. We raised the fucking. Baba de ba so much. Double team, I guess. And we shall super potion because we can. Pain. Use the X items. Maybe. Let's see, what even X items do I have? I have X attack, X accuracy. Mm. Yeah, but I don't really care to use any, like... The, those are the kind of items that you use when you intimately know your Pokémon and what they're capable of. And I don't. I don't really know their stats, I don't know their best stuff. Oh, it won't go higher. So the game is just saying that, oh, because Magical Leaf never misses. Yeah, that now I, re now I remember. Now I remember. That's why that keeps hitting. I was going to be like, wait a minute. Does evasion just, like, go away over time? What's going on? Oh, it's now you're probably going to get... Oh, never mind. You're using Psybeam for some reason. Why were you... Oh, never give up, never surrender. Now I wonder. Right as I said, oh yeah, <laughs> Magical Leaf, it never misses. At least I think it doesn't miss. That's what I read, I think. And then immediately uses Psybeam and hits the maximum evasion. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> It 
It's like the game knew, oh, this is my one chance to hit a move that will do decent damage. All right, either you, like, faint Nova and I bring out Amp. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, I have only this chance to Psybeam. Finally. I think that was the most I've ever been hit while having maximum evasion. Because the AI was being smart. Ooh, Whirlwind. What does that even do? Whirlwind. The foe is blown away to be replaced by another Pokemon in its party. I don't really care for that. I don't really care for Whirlwind. Like, I, it might be interesting, but I don't have any real good strategy for it, so I'd rather keep the moves that I have. You're so fantastically strong, and no, no, I, I, it goes by too fast. I am dumbfounded, so very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. That badge will let you use the head of move defog outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. That is what I think. And what is it? Is it Will-O-Wisp? Oh, Shadow Claw! A very startling move it is. It hits the turn critical often. Now I wonder who I should give that to. I wonder if Indigo could learn it. Oh, Neon, you've beaten the gym leader. There seems to be no end to how tough you are getting. At least that's how I see it. You do realize I say that to everyone, right? How dare you try to make me feel nice. But at least we did it. Just hilarious at the moment, I'm like, oh, hey, because this guy's just a stall haunter, I can then utilize his stalling to instead raise my evasion. Next Pokemon has a move that ignores evasion. My favorite. Since I don't really care for the ba ba ba, the contest mainly because it's just bothersome. I guess we can do, like, the walk around park a little bit, see what that's like. I went for a stroll in Amity Park with my Pachurisu today. We came across a Pokemon feather while we walked. Do you think it'd make my Pachurisu look any cuter? My Pikachu seems delighted to be out of its Pokeball for a walk outside. See, you can tell because its cheeks are twitching away. I think it means it wants to eat you. Nabity Square, you can go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon, okay? Would you like to go for a stroll with your charm? Please do enjoy your time together, you two. <laughs> so happy it just can't stay still. And then we'll make our way around, see things. Ooh, hey, an item. I wonder if I can get there. These ruins are from a long, long time ago. <laughs> we'll just let people walk around with their Pokemon amongst the <laughs> the ruins. Oh, I just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. It's just the two of us. If only this would be just a thing you can do always. I found a tract. Something I'll probably never do. I haven't played Metal Gear R Rising yet. I've been <laughs> denying my wallet's purpose. <laughs> That's what we all do. We deny our wallet's purpose. Because we have to stay true to our purpose of not starving to death. Ooh, secret power. Lots of TMs. I'd probably use them more if they weren't one use. It's kind of nice that this is just a place you can, like, walk around in. And we'll go to the other side, because there's items there, too. 
I don't care about you, interview woman. You provide me nothing. How dare you stalk my existence just by walking around being like, Hey, I exist. Talk to me. <laughs> Hidden powers, little brother. I'm appalled they refused entry to my Pokemon. Oh, my poor Gyarados of Steelix. This is discrimination. It is. It kind of is. Let the man walk around with his Steelix, you bitch. I can't even fight these people in here. I walk around, I beat up all the cute Pokemon. An amulet coin. I think that just uh, raises the amount of money we get from winning a battle. But then how do you get that one? Where's the secret entrance? Uh, there's people of secrets up in here. I don't like it none. Maybe Amity Park is, like, uh, the initial, like, conceptualization of what would then go on to become, what's it called, uh, I don't even know, like, but, like, the, the walking around with your partner Pokemon that you can do in, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I forget, did we come in here? I don't think we did. There are contests, then we have Amity Square. Hard home gets visitors from all over, so things have to be nice and clean. People all over the world follow Pokemon contests. What should I do? I could captivate the whole world. If only it wasn't such a pain to become good at contests. My Shroomish finds berries and things when we go to Amity Square. Well, my charm didn't. You failed me. This place only has an elevator? That's illegal. That's not safe. You're supposed to have stairs for emergencies. This place is going to burn down, and a bunch of people are going to die. I have something for your Pokemon to take. Take the Shell Bell. what it do? Didn't even tell me. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Sinnoh News Net, good evening. This is Sinnoh News Net. Sinnoh News Net, you said that three fucking times. As crews gathering all over the... You said nothing. Then he'd be like, there was a gym battle. People died. Heals water types. And maybe I should give it to my boy. <laughs> give it to Lancelot to heal. And then we can give Quick Claw to somebody else. Maybe give it to Charm. Let's see. Is restored a little every time it smacks some bitches. There you go. Like better leftovers, if I recall. Interesting. Hmm, it doubles the battle's prize money if the holding Pokemon joins in. Since I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using Nova a lot, might as well give him it. Hmm. Because I'm fairly certain I need to use Shine to get him to like me to then be able to evolve. Oh, you don't want to fight? I have a professor friend, and this is what he told me. If you leave a pair of Pokemon for daycare, sometimes eggs are found. Or well, things are like egg that are like eggs, anyway. I wonder how my pal Professor Elm is doing these days. He was always a quiet sort and didn't really stand out. He got chased. Ba, 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 ba. I remember this song. is a good song. Wait a minute. Oh wait, yeah, this is the way I want to go, I think. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Neon! Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here and right now! 
Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started! You better not be too tough, you fucker. You're gonna be tough, aren't you, you fucker? I probably should have swapped my Pokemon around, but fine. I'm gonna blast your story of you out of the air. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, I should have expected that. Please kill. And it's only one double team. No, come out of the air. Of course you survive. But you're partially paralyzed. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, I'll show you something wicked too. Blast him out of the air. No evasion. Be gone. Ah, good job, Indigo. Ooh, you want to learn Magical Leaf? Hell yeah. What is Lucky Chant? The user chants an incantation towards the sky, preventing the foe from landing critical hits. I mean, could be useful in the sense that the AI gets a lot of critical hits, but I should just try to kill them first rather than, like, yeah, so I'll just give you Magical Leaf. I don't think Zoro is coming back. No. Amp, you can kill this Buzel too. You try and do shit to me? Spark him to death. I wonder what a, a status effect of, like, uh, water would do. Like, you make a Pokemon moist if they're an electric type and then use electric, they take, like, self-damage or take... Grottle? What's Grottle? I'm going to assume that that is your starter's evolved form. Nova, get out here! What the fuck's a Grottle? I haven't run into one, so I'm going to assume exactly what I thought. Wing attack! No time for evasion unless he starts withdrawing a lot. Is that going to do much? Uh, of course you get a critical hit, you fucking bitch. But even if Nova dies, we will take you down. Ha, you fool. You try to withdraw. You've already taken too much damage. Nova, finish him off! Let's weed this garden! Get nuked, Barry. You're gonna send out a Ponyta? I'm gonna send out a Lancelot. Prepare to get bubbled, bitch. I'm gonna give you a real bath bomb. Again with the arson whip. Bubble beam! And now you're even slower. What the? We're in trouble, but there's no giving up on me. You really shouldn't give up on your Pokemon either, you know. <laughs> it's not really giving up on you. It's you giving up on your Pokemon that's the problem. And that is my attack, attack, attack strategy. Booyah. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? And I took a lot of Pokebucks from you. <gasps> Ooh, you're already evolving into a Curlia Indigo! Bum, 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 I really need to level you up. Oh, well, I need to level up and use Shine as well. Booyah! Wah! Because the show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work! 
Say, hey, Neon, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work worth beans. I guess I have to grind it out and tough it up the team bit at a time. Anyway, I'm off to Cilician Town. See ya, Neon. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Actually, speaking of that, I'm going to head back, heal, and check out the shop. Since uh, instead of being town to town, it's uh, like uh, badge to badge, which actually isn't a bad system, all things considered. Then it means, uh, although, kind of discrimination because you need to beat gym leaders to then be able to buy extra stock from a Pokemart. But at the same time... It does mean that you can buy anything from any town, so long as you've progressed in gyms. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And we'll put Indigo up there, the little rascal. And we'll check out, see what they got, maybe buy a few revives. If I had a single revive, I probably would have won that first time against the bitch. And we can buy great balls! No longer shall evil fall upon my family! A few of you... A few revives, even though they're expensive as shit. Okay, a few more. I have the money to spare. And now, we shall move along. I do find it funny that Barry wasn't like, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center first and then go to Cilician Town. He just went along with all his fainted Pokemon. There's a wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. It's got me very curious. Ba 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 ba. Oh yeah, I forgot trainers exist. Let me show you how much I've ra how much you've raised your Pokemon. Let me see, not show. I'm dumb. Oh no. He's gonna want to fuck my Pokemon. Sand attack. I'm gonna annoy you to death. Ba 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 ba. The art of Eevee in this game is really, really nice. Sand attack! Keep throwing pocket sand in its eyes. One more sand attack and then we'll start attacking. Alright. Tackle attack. Meh. <laughs> Suffer, you fool. Suffer immensely. The tower is for Spiritomb, but you have to talk to people underground. Huh. Ah, interesting. Bonsley. I sometimes prefer the pixel art uh, than the 3D games. I do think that it has its own very nice vibes. It has very nice vibes to it. Because with pixel art, I think at the scale that Pokemon is working on, pixel art would be easier to make for the amount of Pokemon that there are. Now. Oh yeah, I forgot you're part rock, aren't you? You're a confounding little bitch, aren't you? Um... Charm? Some Pokemon just lose their charm. It depends on the presentation of the 3D model. Because some 3D models look really nice. Others look kind of clunky. It's all basically down to execution and design and stuff. Because, like, some Pokemon look wonky if they're forced to be, like, in the air f flying all the time. Oh, you're gonna send out an Eevee? I'll send out my Eevee, too. And then I'll throw sand in its eyes. Bonsley is just rock. Oh, yeah, because it evolves into the, the fake tree guy. I, I forgot. I'm dumb. Sand 
Sneak attack. Yeah, because uh, Lucario has a different stance style in 3D games. He just stands there. Yep. With the, the pick... That's a thing that is kind of the issue at the scale that Pokemon is working at. Because it would be super cool if each Pokemon had, like, cool things, like unique animations and, like, all this cool stuff. But there's so many Pokemon now that unless they did that thing that I suggested and like have a single Pokemon game that they just released DLC for a lot they wouldn't really be able to give even half the Pokemon their own due it's because there's just so many Pokemon and then each game like, now they have to reuse 3D models because they can't just make, like, 600-plus brand-new 3D models every single game. And then there's, like, the textures, the animations, the attack effects. There's just lots that go into a Pokémon game. And with the shift to 3D, they have a lot more they have to do. Whereas with, like, pixelated, or, like, not pixelated, but, like, with pixel art Pokemon games, they, like, are able to inject a lot more personality because it's just, like, even if they just had, like, two, like, sprites, like, or, like, three sprites. They have the introduction sprite and attack stri a sprite and just a stand there sprite. Like, even then, that would be a lot of work for the amount of Pokemon they put into a Pokemon game, even if it was sprite-based. But you want to know what would be cool? If they, like, what was that game that, uh, came out a while back that started off an entire, like, art style... It's like the 2D 3D or 3D 2D in which it's a 3D environment but 2D characters. What if they did that with Pokemon? I think that'd be cool. Good stuff, your Pokemon are in impeccable condition. But then there's also the issue where like there's a lot of numbskulls out there in the world. All the normies that are just like, Oh, a pixelated game. Pixel art. I want 3D. And it's just like... I feel like you can do good with pixel art. And 3D on everything. Especially if like, Oh, it has to be super, super detailed. Oh, the textures. Oh, the polygons. If we see a single tree in a trailer... We're gonna complain. No, not black and white. The... Because that's not really 2D, 3D. It was a game that specifically came out. Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler that came out. Like, uh, really, really nice 3D backgrounds. Uh, but with uh, pixel art, like, characters. I think they should do that again. Oh, again. I don't think Pokemon's ever done that. Then again, maybe Black and White has it. I've never actually played Black and White. So I would not really know. One of these days in my Pokemarathon, we might get to me playing Black and White. Unless, like, uh, <laughs> they have uh, Yanova remakes come out. Because there's Pokemon Day coming up in about a week-ish. At the end of the month. Yeah, I should probably just bring in to go out and smash you. How dare you eat a berry right in front of me, you whore. 
Indigo, kill this motherfucker. Defense curl all you want. I'm gonna magical leaf your ass. Blast him! That's another thing that I kind of think about now with the Diamond and Pearl remakes. I wonder why they decided to not do just a Platinum remake. Or at the very least have like a uh, Ba ba ba. Sorry, Shine. We're gonna have to swap you out. We'll have Indigo in front, and then we'll give you the experience go getter. Oh, the thought. But yeah, with the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes, I do wonder why they didn't just make a singular, like, uh, platinum version. Granted, they didn't make a crystal version for, like, uh, the Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes they did. And they didn't just make a yellow remake. Well, I guess technically they kind of did a yellow remake with the Let's Go, but they just made a secondary Eevee version of yellow. But then again, Let's Go is a different beast entirely and is kind of a unique spin, even though I personally don't quite like the... Uh, like, I don't like the idea of the Let's Go games. I, I, I like trainer battles and random battles. I don't know. <laughs> Money. True. But at the same time, it's like... When third editions get to... Like, with Crystal, it was mostly just, hey, gold and silver, but we add on, like, Suicune a little bit. A good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Sure. They just added on, like, the Suicune thing and changed a handful of things here or there. But then, like, uh, with Emerald and Platinum, they really upped the game on, like, what third editions did. Do you jog every morning? Well, I do. I thought you'd be a fighter. Hmm. Sorry, Shine, I don't trust you in a double battle. Honestly, I want to see a double battle game where you and a friend work together to become double battle champions. That would be interesting, but it would be bothersome to actually set up. Especially because that would inevitably be a game that you need Nintendo Online for, which will would also be annoying. And thus it would have to be a spin-off game that's lower in scope. And, like, it would also depend on, like, how it works. Because, like, the idea is cool, but the execution would probably be bothersome. It's not really touched that double battles could be a separate thing. Yep. We're tough because we battled together. We're gonna crunch and munch you all up. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, it's a de it would be a definitely an interesting idea. I just got Dalton Mall. Magical Leaf the Rock Man. And then I guess just Quick Attack Mime Jr. Because, like, I had the idea for a game that would, like, uh, a long time ago, my brain conjured up, like, liked to conjure up like, convoluted but interesting game ideas. And one of them was, what if there was an RPG that was, like, three RPGs in one? And then you and your friends could start off on, like, different, like, section, like, uh, in the different RPGs, and then events during those different, like, stories would affect the other stories. Like, Friend one might exile a criminal who would then move to player two's game like country that their story takes place. That kind of stuff. Interesting, but convoluted. Pikachu? What? 
Why is there just Pikachu? Like, contest champions might be a better idea, though. If they fleshed out and refined the contest system, I could definitely see there being a contest-centric game. Hi, I am a Pokemon! You lied to me. I'm gonna drown you in this river. You fucking liar. You and your Pichu. What are you, actually a, a freak? Is that what you are? Is your, is your father a deviant? Is your mother a Raichu? Is this your younger brother? Are you a freak mutant? And you need to die? <laughs> I assume you're talking about my game idea, like what happens if one does a genocide. That wouldn't really be that kind of RPG. It would be more like a classical one, but you make choices here or there. Like, oh, you do a side quest. Huh? So sad, so bitter. Like, you do a side quest and you can decide what to do with this criminal, or maybe it's just the outcome of the quest in general, and each player's game affects the other stories and events of the other games that are being played. It's just that the main issue is there would have to be three individual, like, stories with their own unique things, their own unique interactions... And then you'd need two friends, like, even if we lowered it down to just two people, like, two stories, two ga- like, two RPGs in one, where you just need one other friend to play along, that's still dedicating a lot of time with, like, one other person to play two RPGs together. That- that are separate, but connected. Please let me battle the Pokémon you've raised. Like, I guess one way that you could do it would be, instead of having it be, like, just done that way, where you're connected to another player's game and your events, like, affect each other as you go along, instead, like, the simplest way to do it would be kind of journey style, where you randomly get selected to, like team up with another player and who's, like, around the same like, playtime and, like, s <coughs> section of the story and what they've done might be introduced. But then, what if that person stops playing? So you can't definitively just have them permanently be your partner, so you'd have to be swapped out to somebody else who's playing around the same time as you. But their events might not line up, and so it feel disjointed and dishonest. It's one of those things. It's a cool idea, but the, like, people would have to commit to it. I guess in a, like, I guess in a way, my idea could work where it's like there's two RPGs in one, and you can, like, start one RPG. Like, really, the best way to do it would be to remove the multiplayer aspect entirely, and instead have it be two stories that you bounce between chapter by chapter as you play single player. So you're basically playing two slightly connected RPGs back to back, chapter to chapter, which would be confusing and might not be good. And then just minor things that you do in one might end up affecting in the other. Eh, that's an idea. <laughs> now my throat's starting to tickle. Ah, I'm dying. I need a name for a shiny male Ralts. Hmm. Trying to think. Shiny male... Like, uh, could maybe name him after, like, a uh, Knight of the Round Table if you want to make him a, uh, a Gallade. Because I think they may uh, introduce Gallade in this generation. Could... Perhaps, ba ba ba. Uh, shiny uh, male Ralph's name. My brain jumped to Aqua for some reason. It's like, do something with Kingdom Hearts! That's just crazy. I do not know. Are you gonna mimic wing attack? Oh, no, you just learned it and now you'll die, you fool. You mine, Junior.
<laughs> They're raised with a lot of care. When I was jogging the other day, wild Pokemon chased after me. I swear I ran on top of the water. I was so freaked out. This is a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. There seems to be a spot that would be perfect for the odd keystone. Not just yet. I'm gonna save, make a save state, cause then I think we'd have to fight it. But yeah, I get a lot of just game ideas like that. Cause just like... Another game idea that I got was like... What if there was a kind of base defense, base attack game? Kind of... Uh, kind of Team Fortress 2-esque, but instead it was like a really long con kind of thing where the blue team could really plan out how they want to invade this base and basically have it be, in a way, a game that... Like, uh, of course it would be multiplayer, which would make it a million times harder. But just, like, the time commitment to that idea of, like, everybody kind of role-playing as sneaky saboteur invader and dedicated guard who doesn't know what's going to happen even though he knows an invasion's gonna happen. And it's just, like, so many people would have to commit to the bit. People could troll. People could metagame. The entire defense team could just get on Discord and be like, Oh, I died in the hallway, and everybody could go on alert. Wait, next town has daycare. For you or for me? <laughs> then again, I think you gave up on your adventures of uh, female Eevee. But I don't really leave anybody in daycare. I probably should. Well, I guess... We'll try to put the keystone in, maybe. Hollowed Tower is written on it. It appears to have been built many years ago, and then I need to, like, do other things to get it to activate, probably. Talk to people in the underground. I need to do the underground more. I guess we could try and do it right now, I guess. Tool the bag. We're gonna adventure underground. Explorer's kit. And now I just need to remember, because I'm gonna go uh, bottom focus. Because we're gonna be going underground. Of which the underground is the focus. I guess I could just follow the sparkles. <laughs> we are synced again. <laughs> if we were playing my game idea, you could send your mistakes to haunt me. Up, oh, they're up. Let's dig. Ah, uh, four things in this wall. Got all four. Yeah, there's like a ton of like potential game ideas that exist in the world. It's just that actually getting them to work properly would be like difficult to get running. That's probably why not a lot of people have done crazy ideas. Except for, like, Kojima, sometimes. Wait, on emulator, if another person enters underground, it can crash. 
Well, I don't think I'm, like, on a public network for, like, underground. I don't know. I don't know how emulator Wi-Fi works. <laughs> then again, even when I had, like, did, like, played Platinum physically, I didn't really go underground, so... I wonder if that just means that there's nobody underground, and I can't talk to anybody, and I can't get Spiritomb. Okay, it's an alert from Neon. Goodbye, I'm going back up. But I'm the only one that exists. It's an alert from me to myself, I guess. Ooh, fossil. Up in here. Of all these blocks, I don't see how. <laughs> you can just bury them again. See, I don't think there's much good for me down here. Enjoy Pokemon music. Pokemon music's just nice. Hmm. Dang it. Aha, there we go. I found a calcium. I can give my Pokemon the extract of milk. Bob. You're mocking me, aren't you? I mean, I guess. If you don't run away, I'll try to catch you so that I can... Damn it, Charm, you're too strong. Damn it. I was going to adopt her. Why is it all the Pokemon you want to catch go down in one hit, but all the Pokemon you just like, hey, can you go away? I am a brick shit house, and I'm here to kill you. You try and find a uh, Ralts that dies in one move. You want to get rid of a Bibrel? It's just like I'm gonna be here forever. I am eternal. I am inevitable. <laughs> Buzz, look at alien. Where? Ah! <laughs> and of course, you poisoned my motherfucker, you, you bitch. But now we're gonna run back to town to heal because Charm is gonna just be like obliterated by the poison. But. Today, there was a Nintendo Direct. It was a partner showcase. I consider it an okay event, merely because there was a decent selection of things that came out of it. Nothing like super mind-blowing. Although, one thing did get my brain going. There was the announcement of a remaster of the original Monster Hunter stories which, if I recall, was released on 3DS. I could be completely wrong about that, and I could be just a moron, but I swear that Monster Hunter Stories originally was on... Buh, buh, buh. Originally on 3DS. So that got my brain going. What if 
for Pokemon Day, they announce remasters of, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity, and Super Mystery Dungeon. Or at least one or the other. And then make, uh... I think they'd be the simplest to do. To, like, make remasters of, and then, like, throw in new content. More content. Think that would be cool. Because if I remember correctly, a lot of people enjoyed Gates to Infinity that was just short to them. That and, like, gameplay issues. Or, or like, gameplay changes, not issues. And then they could save next year for an Explorers of Sky remake. When is Pokemon Day? It should be the last day of February, the 27th. Say, honey, where'd you come from? What kinds of Pokemon are you with? Because, like, I am one of those people that has put on the clown shoes and clown makeup. I am hanging outside the clown car saying, come on in, everybody. Let's go and hope for a Pokemon mystery dungeon, you f What the fuck? Why'd they do a lot of damage? Why are you a whore? Ugh. But yeah, I'm one of those people who is naively hoping that mystery dungeon news comes our way. It's just like, come on, man, you give us something. <laughs> Please, sir, can I have some more? It's been like a few years since Rescue Team DX came out. And... Buh, buh, buh. I'm trying to think. Next year is the 20th anniversary. Fancy folks like you have fancy Pokemon too, it looks like. You have one Pokemon. That's your own fault. It appears that I've fallen off the path. But yeah. It's gonna be the... 20th anniversary of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon as a series next year. It's been a few years since Rescue Team DX came out. I just feel like maybe there'd be something. Either like the golden thing would be either a new Pokemon Mystery... Like the golden thing would be remaster... Like a remaster of one of the 3DS games would come out this year, announced at po uh, Pokemon Day. And then next year, it would be a special thing, like either a new Mystery Dungeon game or a remaster of Explorers of Sky. Well, not really remaster, but like a remake. Or hell, <laughs> maybe next year, since it's going to be the 20th anniversary, it can be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon year. Like Year of Luigi, have it be Year of the Mystery Dungeon. Have, like, mystery dungeons crop up all across all of Pokemon media to celebrate. Where are departed Pokemon sleep? This is the Lost Tower. Where my ass is beaten by a tree, I have to go back for my fucking Zoro. Because the bitch is like, I need sunlight to evolve. <laughs> Wait, laughs in waiting for a Tomagotchi Life remake. Uh, true. There's a lot of, like, 3DS-specific things that a lot of people really enjoyed. Like, unique games that they're like, Hey, come on, bring them back. Bop, 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 bop. Mm -hmm. First, we need to put somebody away. I guess it'll be Shine, but he has the experience share. I guess temporarily we'll put you away, then we'll bring out Zoro. Then again, then we give Scarlet. Yeah, we gave Scarlet Cut. We're gonna bring Scarlet. But yeah, <laughs> with me, I just want more Mystery Dungeon. I would like, <laughs> you know, now my brain went. Hey, if, like, Mystery Dungeon Year, Year of the Mystery Dungeon, turns out to be real because 20th anniversary. What if 
there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime. Not beholden to any uh, video games, but instead... Like, its own original story. Ooh, Steel Wing. Maybe give that to... Give that to Nova. I'm, I'm probably doing this completely in the wrong way, but I don't care. Next up, we're gonna check out the Tower of Doom. I should see if anybody can learn Shadow Claw. But then I need to make sure that, like... That's the thing with TMs where you need to be, like, super certain that this Pokemon is never going to leave your team if you give a TM to a Pokemon. It's just babbly bear. Babbly 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 bear. Pickledy pop. I'm just a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanatic. I want more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon all over the place. Give me a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime or movie. Give me a more Pokemon. Give me Pokemon Mystery Dungeon remasters. Give me Pokemon Mystery Dungeon new games. Give them all to me. Give them all to me. Because I think those two are gonna fight me. So let's have these two fight. You're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. Huh? You want to battle with me? I completely read the wrong voices. I will if I can team up with Ty. Ba, 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 ba. I am going to kill you. My bun Harry is... <laughs> Your Bunary may have a bigger dick than my Bunary, but my Bunary's not even out there right now. You're gonna die. <laughs> Slams card on table when I see PMD content. Basically. Essentially. Because, again, I feel like I should be very blessed. That Mystery Dungeon appears to be a favorite of somebody at the Pokemon Company. Because Mystery Dungeon already is, like, the most popular, like, spinoff for Pokemon. Because Pokemon has had, like, the trading card game as a video game. That's going to do a lot of damage. Not as much damage as I thought it would do. You suck, Buzel. But yeah, like, the trading card game had a spinoff. Pokemon Snap exists. Stadium exists. Technically, like, Coliseum, even though it was kind of a mix of Stadium and original 3D Pokemon. I only have eyes for Sue. Maybe that's why we lost. I'm sorry, Ty. And we got a lot of money from it. Because Amulet Coin. But yeah, Snap, Stadium, Coliseum... Conquest, even though that's a crossover. The trading card game. Uh, Pokemon Trozy. Unite, technically, even though it's a live service MOBA. And, like, nobody talks about Unite, really. Because it's bad. Like, the base game is fine, but... God, the monetization is terrible. But, like... Other things, like, uh, there's the Pokemon Cafe. Little free-to-play game there that's cute. But, like, uh, Pokemon Pinball. But, like, out of all of the normal, like, single-player, like, uh, spin-offs of Pokemon, Mystery Dungeon has gotten the most content out of all of it that I feel like, except for, like, the actual physical card game. That's, like, the only one that I feel like has more content overall, but that's just because it's a freaking card game. Like... I'm gonna rant to myself here before we continue, or else I'll never get anywhere with my thoughts. But yeah, like, it took, like, over a decade for Snap to get a sequel. Well over a decade. Like, Pokemon Pinball, I think there's only been one or two. Maybe only even one. 
I know that there was one being made for the D... Well, there was a prototype that was made for the DS that never uh, eventually went in anywhere, and apparently the creation and pitching of that uh, Pokemon pinball for DS bankrupted that development studio. Sadness. And, like, uh... It, there, it, we haven't seen, like, Colosseum or sha uh, Shadows of... Gales of Darkness XD anything since the GameCube. Which is impressive. Colosseum and Gales of Darkness were on the same console. Nothing ever since. And, like... And, and again, it's hilarious that, like, Legends Arceus isn't a spinoff. I feel like it should be a spin-off, but that's purely because it plays so differently from all the main Pokemon games. But apparently the Pokemon company considers it a mainline Pokemon game. Which, another Legends game, is what I'm also hoping for from Pokemon Day. If there are two things that are day one buys for me nowadays, it is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game or a Legends game. Granted, it also depends on the overall vibes, but, like, I never buy things day one anymore. Legends, uh, a Pokemon Legends or a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, way, 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 way more likely to day one buy. <laughs> it's technically the first game before Red Timeline-wise. That, actually, that is true. But that's mostly because, like, time travel is involved. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, really. All the other Pokemon games, like, have a loose canonicity to each other. Like, nothing... I don't think anything is majorly, like, tied to one another. It's just like, hey, if we want to do a thing, we'll do a thing and then call back to past things. And that's just their vibe. <laughs> Let's go Togepi and Wooper. Personally, I would... I have no care at all for Let's Go. I will probably never buy a Let's Go game. Unless I had fuck you money. If I had, like, all the money that I could care to use, like, I could buy games willy-nilly, and even then I wouldn't buy games that crazily, I might then get a Let's Go game. But otherwise, I don't really care for the Let's Go games. Mostly because their gameplay isn't to my liking. Like, the idea of having your starter Pokemon, your first part, like, your partner Pokemon, and you're able to, like, dress him up, give him a haircut, give him stuff, and have it actually be represented, that is super cool. They are never gonna do it for anything other than the Let's Go games, and I hate it. Like, if Let's Go was just Pokemon Yellow, but we're gonna super focus on the partner aspect... I would have bought Let's Go, but no, they're like, ah, motion controls, we have to cash in on Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go to the polls, everybody, do you remember that? It's on Switch now. I forget if it sold well, probably did. But it's just like, I don't care for the capture mechanics, I don't care that there's no, like, I, I'm annoyed that there's no wild battles. Like, sure... Wild battles aren't the greatest thing, but removing them is kind of eh. It's kind of like if you wanted to make a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, but then you got rid of the dungeons. Like, sure, the dungeon crawling, like, genre gameplay isn't super enthralling, but if I ever... If somebody came up to me and said, you get to make a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, no questions asked, I would still have it be a game where you go into dungeons predominantly. Because that's, like, the whole vibe of Mystery Dungeon. Whether, like, no matter the premise, you should still have, like, a partner Pokemon, and you delve into dungeons for one reason or another. Even if the even if I would make the gameplay more action-y, like a 3D hack-and-slash beat-em-up Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm getting all the unknowns. How long until I find a shiny? You'll probably be able to make the whole alphabet shiny. Knowing you. Honestly, I want to rant about Pokemon Stealth Game idea and talk about it again. A Pokemon Stealth Game would be kind of interesting. <laughs> have you, like, have you play as, uh, Koga? Have you play as Koga, like, during the Kanto War that people theorize happened? I mean, there's Lieutenant Surge, 
people think something happened? Yeah, just like play Koga during a war period. Metal Gear Solid Pokemon! Yeah, I'm never gonna use that. <laughs> I'm never gonna use the helping hand. Why power up one move when I can do two attacks? This is where spirits rest. Please be quiet and respectful. Meanwhile, this lady is going to attack me. No, never mind. You just turn around for some reason. This is the Lost Tower. There's a persistent fog that thickens the higher you climb. You can't use hidden move defog, and you have no biz... If you can't use the hidden move defog, and you have no business here, there's no need to go up. I don't have defog, so I, I better leave. But yeah, there's like so much that you can do. Like, like honestly... Legends Arceus was already kind of a Pokemon stealth game. Barry, we just fought. Yahoo! Hey, Neon, I got something cool. I'll show you as a special favor. Huh? What the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. All right, it's because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool. You have to check it out. I even found a hidden machine. It was defog. Anyway, I'll battle you another time. See ya! I didn't expect my Zorark's name to be said, but thank you. Granted, I was thinking of Koga, the ninja poison gym leader guy from Gen 1, but it's still a good name. A very fitting name for a Zorark. Maybe the real Pokemon TM Platinum was the friends we made along the way. Maybe. But it's just like... I do wish that, like, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company... Like, had other people make Pokemon games more. Breathing in this refreshing air, it perks up Pokemon, don't you think? Pokemon News Press wanted pro Pokemon catcher. The Sinnoh region's newspaper is tiny, but has many fans. The newspaper is printed right here. I don't see a printing press. Oh, welcome. You saw the notice outside the last hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex there? Then you must know Professor Rowan. You're just the Pokemon searching expert we've been looking for. Pichu, I want you to bring me one. You must bring it today or we're not going to be able to run our main article. I'll pay you with a heart scale and some Pokeballs for it. I'm never going to get one. Your encounters with Pokemon can be considered your shared history. This here is a Poke Poketch app called Pokemon History. Use it to see your history of Pokemon catches. Man, I wish I got Fly already so that I could go and get that Poketch app from the the dude. I'm too little, so I don't know how to battle very good. The, the, this nice daycare lady is raising my Pokemon for me. That nice daycare lady is whoring your Pokemon out. That's what she's doing. Every Sunday I visit the Lost Tower. Why ain't you depressing? Every Sunday I walk in the graveyard. As I walk through the shadow of death. Howdy, traveling trainer. There's nothing here. Well, nothing but plenty of time to think anyway. All right, we have the ruins here. Why not take a tour through that? There used to be nothing here but a road that went straight through. Over time, Pokemon and people just gathered and the town came to be. And that's just how it happens. I don't even have a Pichu and I'm the Pokedex completionist. Ha! <laughs> So basically, this guy's an asshole. Every so often, an egg will be found at the Pokemon Daycare, and they're found without anyone knowing how they got there. It's an enduring mystery. Is someone leaving them there? This has to be like Santa Claus of the Pokemon universe. <laughs> I'm about to shiny hunt Groudon. You have best wishes to you. <laughs> but yeah, like, this has to be like the Tooth Fairy of Pokemon World. It's like... We can't let children know that Pokemon fuck. You see, no one has ever seen a Pokemon actually lay an egg. So it hasn't been proven that Pokemon actually lay eggs. Bullshit! On Ultra Sun. I've never played Ultra Sun yet. I need to someday. Why is there just this place? Why are there just people with houses on cliffs? You can customize Pokeballs by fixing seals on them. Oh, you don't have a seal case? Well, here you go. I can now kill seals. 
next, some seals. Here you go. I'll explain how seals work. You'll need a uh, Pokemon Center PC. First select the PC, then check the heading Ball Capsules in the PC menu. Next, choose a capsule and apply seals to it as you wish. When you're done, put the capsule on a Pokeball. You can see the results when you use that Pokemon in battle. I wish they kept this. Did they keep this? I forget. The Pokemon in this town's ruins look like some kind of strange alphabet. I think they're really neat. I'm too small to catch them, though. Instead, I play with the seals to try and reading those weird letters. If you can give me a Pokemon that looks like letters, I'll give you some seals. I'm gonna ma I'm gonna give you the whole alphabet and then I'm gonna stab you with it. I'm gonna stab you with the alphabet, you you stupid little you little bitch. Die. Isn't this the thing that started the memes? I don't know. It depends on the memes. There's been a lot of memes in Pokemon. This area had many Pokemon from the olden days. They said there were big Pokemon ranches around these parts. And you all must be the descendants. I'm doing a few test runs to make sure it's catchable in a friend ball because who better to befriend than a giant destruction dinosaur who created the land? Your Pokemon has the hasty nature. Do you know that a Pokemon's nature determines how it will grow? Oh no, I have Luffy the, the Curlier. I just really hope that Pokemon Day gives us a decent amount of things. I just really hope. Just really, really hope. Let's see. I'm going to... T-O-P? Top right. Lower left. Top right. Top left. Top left. Lower left. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually uh, write this down. Yeah, because once I actually started to understand... Uh, one second. Because I have... Documents. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I'll just use this. Word document activate. And then I'll just type them in... Go move this over just so I can have it. All right, top right. Lower left. Top right. Top left. Top left. Lower left. And that's it. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I have to feed my pissy bird in a few hours. The pissy animals return. They demand sustenance. Alright. Alright, so top right. I'm gonna assume that we just need to go through these. Oh, did he turn at the right time? <laughs> or is that guy not gonna fight me? Unless I actually have to... Bah, bah, bah. I guess I'll capture a few unknown for the kid. Let's see, how does confusion work against you? You know, for a letter, you're far too strong. It's weird where I can read the unknown when they're like all together, but then again only sometimes because my brain is stupid and the unknown look weird. But like when I look at an unknown, I sometimes I can't even tell what it is. I'm gonna try and catch it on a normal Pokeball because I don't want to waste my great balls on him. Thank you. 
I guess we'll just go ahead and blitz through. Because I don't know if the, like, if there's anything interesting in any of the other, like, floors. So we're just going to follow the normal thing. When alone, nothing happens. However, there are two or more on an odd power is said to emerge. I'm not going to give you a nickname. All right. Lower left. Well, first I have to see. Are you going to fight me? I heard the hidden machine defog was somewhere in these ruins. It's just that it seems to be lost. What with everything I'm looking to say? Now what? I could use some help here. No one's going to help you. You're going to die alone. <laughs> die alone. Die alone. Lower left. Top right. Oh, you're actually gonna fucking fight me. Ancient ruins rife with unknown. There has to be meaning. But its significance eludes me, and that's gotten me cranky. I'm gonna break your balls. Your pokeballs. And your ass. Because I'm gonna shove your pokeballs up your ass. You little bitch. How about I shove your Geodude up your ass? Considering that's where your head is, I think it'll fit just fine. You know what? I'm fairly certain that Indigo, the wounded that he is, he'll be able to annihilate you. Get grass. Smoke weed. Get magicked. If there was a Pokemon that could just summon weed, world peace would be discovered. Let's see. I honestly have no... I guess charm to smack the steel guy with fight move, I suppose. <laughs> That's a kink for some people. This is the internet. Everything is a kink. You think that you're just doing something normally? Surprise! Like Wonder Bread Guy. An absolute menace. Of course you use Confuse Ray. You dare confuzzle me, you fucking bitch. You're not even actually bronze. Go back to the Bronze Age, bitch. Break through the confusion. God damn it. And hypnosis, why? Out of spite, I am going to kill you. God will not find you. Well, now my brain went a place. If a Pokeball is inside something and opens, letting the Pokemon out, what happens? I'm not. I'm not going to give context. You can. You can utilize uh, basic thoughts. Yeah, I'm just going to speed up because we're here in Hell World. Finally, it's dead. The search must continue. I honestly think it should be illegal for any Pokemon to be able to have hypnosis and confusion on at the same time. It's kind of bullshit. Like, in my opinion, confusion should just be a normal status condition. Alright, so we went top right, lower left, top right. Alright, from that top right, we need top left. And then from that top left, we go top left. And now we go lower left. I don't know if there's like any secrets up here or not. Friendship? All lives 
touch other lives to create something anew and alive. What even the- why did they even make defog a thing? Oh, the mind plate. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. And odd incense. Hey, Batman, I caught a little Pokemon, Batman. What Pokemon did you catch, Joker? I caught a lot of honey, Batman. I caught a lot of honey. Joker, no. It's just an animal, Joker. You can't. Uh, I, there's no rules against the Pokemon, Batman. I can do what I want, Batman. I can do what I want. Joker, no. No, Joker, no. Uh, I can do what I want, Batman. Great, now I have to find my way out. Okay. Uh, Lower left. We went that way. And then top left, which becomes to lower right. I'm fucked up. Again, it's just masterful that that guy was just Twitch streaming like... Fortnite or something. And he just made that off the top of his head. And it became just a legendary... meme clip. Just props to that guy. All these people are like, I'm so confused. I got turned around. There is literally just one way for forward. You just have to walk up and down stairs. And you're like, oh no, a dead end. I have to walk a different direction now. It's not even like a winding maze. It is a unknown cave. I'm not sure if there's more. Yeah, it's just like there's, there's, like, even if you couldn't read the unknown. I saw it on first, uh, someone who drew it, that meme. It has become quite the meme. Although I wonder, how the fuck you get that Pokeball? I don't, don't know. Now I, mm, I'm not going to HM slave any of my people. So we're gonna find somebody else to be slaved away. Hmm. Ah, but you could actually be useful. Alright, we're gonna take the XP share off of Shine. We're gonna put him away. And we'll probably use Charm to fight the ghosts up the tower. As we find somebody in here that can use defog. I'm going to assume you can use defog, Pippin. But that is the funny thing with memes. They, uh, they show up in one place, a guy on a stream just ad-libbing a weird situation between Batman and the Joker. What do you mean you can't defog, Pippin? You're a water type, and fog is kind of watery. You're a bitch, Pippin. That is what you are. You're worthless. No one loves you. You'll never make it to Mordor. Never. But yeah, memes just show up in random places. Can you maybe use it? Can you maybe use it? Huh? Can you maybe use it? Probably not, since... Indigo can't, but I don't know. My brain is like, maybe you can wave your spoon. Bitch. I do wonder, though, why they feel the need to put so many HM things into Pokemon games in the past days. Are you getting a Gardevoir or a Gallade? I'm gonna go with Gardevoir, probably. I think it's easier to get. I'll be going. Well, thank you for spending some time with us today. And I hope 
If it's sleep or anything, I hope whatever you do, it goes well. Batman and Joker combos are my favorite to do impressions of. It is a fun little thing, isn't it? Mm, I'm not giving fucking defog to Nova or Lancelot. I refuse game. I refuse. <laughs> I see no. It's just a Pokemon I see. Ah, uh, well, you see, we're in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe, Batman. <laughs> There's no law against the Pokemon, Batman. They're the citizens here. <laughs> Like, I wish that I could just, like, look and be like, hey, who here can fucking defog? I wish that I could just be like, maybe through compare? Nope, compare to Pokemon. <laughs> My unknown alphabet is good, uh, doing good, uh, going good. Soon you'll be able to spell anything. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. I don't want to fucking put defog, a useless fucking move. Like, at least surf and waterfall are damaging water moves that I can put onto my Pokemon. I don't want to put defog on any of my actual Pokemon. Damn it. Okay, actually, we have to go faster. So we're going to put the majority over here, fill up my team with fodder, and find somebody that can fucking use defog, or I'm gonna have to run all the way back to find somebody. Maybe you. Like, I doubt, like, so many of you. But I have to give you, like, a shot. I have no idea if, like, the rock guy would. But hey, this is the world of Pokemon. Where they decided that Gyarados would be flying type. Why do trainers try to catch every single type of unknown? Because they can. Motherfucker. Like, I don't even know... You know what? I'm just gonna look up. I'm just gonna look up Pokemon that can learn defog. Pokemon Platinum this is stupid. I'm not going to give it to anybody that I want to use. You have a spare flying type? Nope. I didn't catch two Starly. Apparently, Zubat can learn Defog. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna catch a Zubat. We're gonna catch a Zubat temporarily. But yeah, just like... Apparently they eventually get rid of mandatory HMs. Later on, I believe, in the series. Of which, just thank fucking God. HMs are just annoying. They're a neat idea, but annoying as hell. Because it just makes you go into HM slave mode. And it is so bothersome and I hate it. Oh, I guess since we're at the Pokemon Center, might as well play with the... Bub -bub -bub. You didn't catch a Zubat? Why? Because I don't really care for Zubats. <laughs> I don't really catch, like, Pokemon for, like, catching's sake. All that much. Starseal E, Heart, Foamy, Ooh, Star... Interesting. 
if I move it, does that affect where it comes out? It does. Interesting. <laughs> Some people actually wish HM stayed. They are also in prison. As they deserve. Because it's just like... Why would you want... HMs, what do they serve? What purpose doth they serve? At all. None is what that is. Because, like, they even forced HMs into the first Mystery Dungeon game. And it was terrible. But at least with that one, you could at the very least just run into, like, you could just have the HM in your inventory to, like, go to the dungeon. And that was it. But it's just... bothersome. Let's see, are you gonna die from a single pound? <laughs> I catch Pokemon so I can learn the Pokedex data. That's fair. For me, I don't really bother too much with catching Pokemon that I don't care for. I'm just like, eh, it exists. And I move on. Especially because a lot of the Pokemon I actually do want have high, like, have annoying catch rates. So I'm gonna, I have to save my Pokeballs for them. It checks its surroundings and locations because of things. Hmm. This is your purpose. I guess Pokemon to get the Pokedex rewards. I guess that's also fair. I usually don't, like, super go to the end game of some Pokemon games. Because for me, if there isn't like, like for me, I, I like rewards that I can use. So when I get like, oh, you, you did the Pokedex here, have a Chikorita that you're never gonna use. I catch Pokemon for the shiny charm because I'm a degenerate shiny hunter, as we all want to be. See if we can level up our Pokemon a bit. Wah, ghost, get away! Eek, help me, team! You were just standing here. I don't think I've even run to a bug type yet. I forget. Bug type is actually strong against Psychic for some reason. I have 12 of the unknowns. You're getting closer. Closer to mastering the alphabet. You'd think that he would realize by now that we're not a ghost. Maybe he's psychotic. Or maybe there are ghost trainers. Die, Mothman. You're gonna send out a chat on it, huh? I'm gonna send out Indigo. <laughs> Preparing to get all 28 uh, as shiny. You madman. Oh, hey, it's the bird that lost its, like, specialty because people kept making it say bad things. And also because, like, the Switch doesn't have a, a microphone. Will you fuck off already? Bug is strong against grass, psychic, and dark. An odd selection for Bug to be strong against. I guess because they eat grass? Maybe some kind of... 
folklore like answer for psychic, but I'm not sure about dark. Why would bugs be strong against dark? Because they are like thrive in the dark. I got a critical hit when I needed it. Yay. A barbotch. Wait, I forget. Oh, well, this is a learning experience. Psychic's weaknesses are based on common fears. Oh, bug, dark, and whatever the third one was. Ah, uh, my favorite. Whatever the third one was. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute, isn't this also like ground type? But I wanted to give it like a shot. Let's see. I forget. Probably flying or something. I always forget what ground is weak to. Punch the ground. We should be able to punch the ground to death. I mean, just look at Akuma. He punches the ground, he causes an earthquake. Well, of course, water, but I was <laughs> thinking beyond that because this, once again, critical hit when he was going to die anyway. No, because Psy Ghost should also affect uh, Psychic. It's just that there's only like one Ghost type in all of Generation 1. So when that Pokemon also had Poison as its secondary typing throughout its entire line, Psychic was also then strong against... Ghost, or I think, or it might have been a glitch. I forget. There's like, yes, there's something very wrong in the world of <laughs> ghost type versus psychic in the, in the initial. Well, I guess let's get rid of the fog, even though this doesn't seem like that much fog, unless that reveals something. I don't know. I should be good against fire, because if it melts the ice, then it'll just be water, and it'll kill the fire type. Nah, I think it's fine, because, like, it's not even really, oh, the ice is melting. It's just, like, it is an ice affinity creature, therefore fire does more damage to it. Very simple. Fight me, electric guitarist, I guess. My Pokemon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since I've never forgiven their faces. So does that imply that Team Galactic also has killed some Pokemon? Or... Ground is weak to water, grass, and ice. I guess because grass covers it. Ice covers it. Water erodes it. Also, Gasoline and uh, Pekka Runs are the only ghost poison types so far. Interesting. How dare you kiss him and make him confused. Kill. People always say rock and ground type are the same. But also, ice is just cold water. But it's just that... Ground is, like, roughly made up of rock. Like, sure, there's also, like, dirt and mud, but overall, ground and rock are very similar, whereas ice is very different from water. It has, like, a different connotation than just rock and ground. It's like, ah, the harder ground. So it's understandable why people would be like, yeah, these are kind of similar. I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle.
Hey, can I kidnap your child? <laughs> throw a pile of dirt at someone's face and throw a boulder at their face and see the difference in their reaction. Well, that's just, that's just a matter of scale. What is dirt if not tiny rocks? But it's mostly just the fact that there it doesn't like there isn't really a major difference between ground and rock all that much. And once again, a critical hit that's not really all that useful. Cuz like you could still give like lots of the like, overall moves that ground type has to rock most of the time. Except for maybe, like, I don't know, Mud Slap or something. It just feels like a very pigeonholed type. Where there isn't really all that much to do. Oh, hey, neat. The NPCs also have their own seals. Man, Indigo is just no-selling the confusion. And now that I brought attention to it, he's going to hit himself next turn. But for me, I don't mind ground types, like, existence. I just think that, like, out of all the types, ground and rock are the most similar and would be the easiest to combine. Huh? What was I just doing? Oh, so you were possessed. Because, like, ice is connected also to snow in winter and cold. Whereas water is, well, water is a bit different. Ever so slightly different. Hmm. Do we have a paralyzed heal or a berry for free? Let's see. And we have lots of cherries. Use. And plus it also doesn't help that, like, the first major ground type you run into is also a rock type. So that kind of helped compound it. And r ground has never really had a definitive Pokemon to rally around it. So, it's, yeah, it's just like, ground is an unfortunate little man. <laughs> Would you be willing to live in a world where Groudon is a rock type? I mean, combine rock and fire, you get lava. Kind of fits his whole dealio alongside Kyogre. His lava is cooled by the oceans of Kyogre. Makes the land. Fits. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I guess we'll continue fighting. I still don't know what fog does. Probably because I'm defogging at every turn. Maybe it makes it so I can't see my enemy's Pokemon and they're all, like, possessed. I need to shake off my sorrow. Please battle with me. Kill my remaining Pokemon. Take them away from me. Magic Leaf is man. Groudon is a rock type, but then they could make him a fire type. Instead of a rock ground type. Or is he? I forget his typing. People say Kyogre had the advantage in the fight, but the way I see it, it was uh, surrounded what's underneath the ocean. More land. Well, of course you always get critical hits, you fucking bastard. You little bitch. <laughs> what are the oceans if not a giant bowl of soup? My sorrow has deepened. I hope all your Pokemon die, Rebecca. Getting critical hits when you don't deserve them. I spit on you. I curse you for the five billionth generation. Raises the special attack of a single Pokemon. 
first things first, we need to revive Indigo. And then I guess I'll go ahead and give you a special attack boost, because why not? Hmm. But overall, it, like, depends. For the fight of Kyogre versus Groudon, it's, like, mostly about the destabilization of the world. It makes no difference where we are. If you have Pokemon with you, I reckon you ought to battle. My Pokemon is a lively one. Let me show you how much. My, you're so original. And here we have two gay Ponyta. Just annihilate you. How dare you flame wheel, my boy. You're both you're gonna dual flame wheel my Okay, good, you didn't. I was gonna get angry. And of course you fucking burn, you bitch. Where's my crit when I need it the most? Why do you just be assholes, you fucking game? Fine, I'll kill you. I'll kill you right here. So I take back what I said about Groudon being Rock-type. That was my bad. I didn't realize. Typings are weird in Pokemon sometimes. Although mildly funny. Fuck off of the critical hits, you cunt of a game. Bubble Beam should also hit all ranges. All Water-type moves should. It's just a way of things. And no, I don't care that you gave me a critical hit right there. You're a bastard and no one loves you. You'll die alone. No one will find you. You'll die. And I will have killed you. So if you don't count Primal uh, Forms, Game Freak just gave Kyogre blatant favoritism as the advantage in any situation. It was kind of funny. Then again, like, what kind of land-based typing would you have to, like, be strong against water? Like, super fire? Yeah, I have no idea what fog actually does. They're just like, oh, you bet. You bet. Did the Pokeball come back? What the fuck? Oh, no, I didn't pick it up. Oval Storm. I'm a dumb. Grass isn't really land-based. It's something that comes after the land. It's just very different there. Like, unless you're going for a general, like, power of the Earth, then it's like, oh, land and plants, that could be a thing. You know, has there been a ground grass type yet? I have no idea. Maybe? But doesn't jump out to me as a thing. So who knows? Apparently, Toad's Cruel. Which is, I believe, a new 
variant of uh, Tentacruel, I believe. <laughs> Why? Because Poseidon's pet orca needs favoritism? No, it's just that, like, uh, Kyogre and Groudon are, like, even without Primal Reversion, are the primal, like, beings of the initial creation. And at the initial creation, there isn't grass. <laughs> Torterra came first, though. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the fog is deep. Guess we'll just have to... Oh, wait, did it say that it failed? Well, great. I have to throw out the fucking defog asshole. Or maybe catch him. Let's go for the funny. Get in the Pokeball. Hilarious. No, you don't get any. You exist purely as pain. And that is why Defog exists. But yeah. I still wonder who first came up with HMs as like a thing. I guess suppose I guess it's mostly just a we need a check to make sure if the player got the badge. So here's an obstacle that can only be gotten through if they get a badge and then, like, do things. I, but I still think they could have just had the HM be a thing. Like, maybe not even HMs, just, ah, here's an axe, but you need to prove that you're worthy of using the axe uh, badge. Sure, kind of stupid, but this is Pokemon, where you let 10-year-olds have a... Oh, hey, a Duskull. I don't think I'll actually use you, but... <laughs> Fog lowers accuracy, but it felt more like it just like everything was failing. So it could be like the fog status effect from... Like, a move or something does that, but then like... When it comes to actual fog status, everything fails. Dusk Noir traitor. Technically, no. Dusk Noir was... Well, I guess in the end he was a traitor, but for good reasons. Get blasted, idiot. Well, yeah, but I got a new, like, story idea that popped into my skull. And it's like, what if there was a world that, like, had a concept of Pokemon, but Pokemon weren't like living things at the current time. At best, they were like myths and legends. And then one day, half the population of the, all the humans turned into Pokemon. And then all the like social, social and political fallout from that. It loves the crying of children. It startles bad kids by passing through walls and making them cry. Mike Wazowski? Well, what should we call you? Well, I can't call you... Th That's the thing with, like... Ba ba ba. Dusk Noir of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon overall. I can't just reference them. I mean, there's over a thousand Pokemon. Anybody would have trouble remembering every Pokemon. Yeah, but this would be like a... Oh, ancient past things. Ba ba ba. <laughs> so furries. Not really. Because if... Because there's a lot of different Pokemon out there, and people be super freaked out. But what are we gonna call you? Hmm. We'll call you Banks. Because if we cannot honor Dusk Noir, we can honor the little Duskull Banker. 
Hello, Banks. And then, of course, we'll fight this double battle, because we can. I can't embarrass myself again, not in front of my girlfriend. I don't want to look bad again. Now when my boyfriend is watching. So we'll definitely need to swap out Indigo. So that bad thing just don't too happen. Amp, get in here. And you scare me more. Die. Of course you use Pursuit, you bitch. That's probably gonna kill. Fuck off, game. <laughs> when you compare that number to Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that's the kindergarten against a high school student. Yeah, it just happens sometimes. Some things have crazy numbers, some things more mods. But at the same time, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like, have their own, like, thing. Where there's a lot of, like, reuse and, like, themes, but they have, like, a bunch of different, like, purposes. It's just a little different. A level up for Amp. Huzzah! Quit side beaming my beamus. I'll kill ya. And just wing attack because we can. Die, idiot. And a level up for Nova. Huzzah! Aw, oh, jeez, man, that's a downer. This makes it feel hollow inside, oh so hollow. And yet another revive. You really should stop having you be in front, but I want you to level up. Kind of mean of the game to have a move entirely based on lol you tried to make the smart move now die think it's ever so slightly mean sure it's like ooh counter strategy but if you counter strategy don't you really just punish strategy at all and those bitches are gonna be ghosts Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Take this. The Lost Tower is where the spirits of departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short. All the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. Oh, the fog is gone, and with it all my doubt in my heart. This is my thanks. Don't be shy. Take it. That fan, Tina, it's hard to tell what she's thinking, but she has a compassionate heart, you know. She's a regular visitor. I wish that we could actually, like, read the tombstones. But I am happy that, like, they went out of their way to include another memorial tower in a Pokemon game. Because it's been, what, three generations? Three or two generations since they had a whole thing. Of course, Defog. And then we'll look at, like, spell tag and everything. <laughs> I wish we could actually read. Indeed. Let's see. Ah, certain species evolve. And I'm helped by Pokemon. It helps keep wild Pokemon away if the holder is first in the party. Ah, and then it boosts ghost-type moves. Interesting. So if I'm ever just being like, hey, I, I don't want to be bothered, I can always give, like, a cleanse tag to 
Amp, because Amp is hardly ever in first, so you can have the cleanse tag for now. And you know what? We'll also give the EXP share to Indigo. He's been getting his ass kicked. And then on our way out of here, even though I don't think ghosts long to appear while we walk around, it'll probably mu pretty much just be Zubat. I should defog just in case. Then I can put <laughs> defog in the box. How dare you, I have a cleanse tag. Go, Amp, chew his face off. Intimidate, intimidate that ghost. Foresight all you want, you one-eyed bitch. I'm gonna chew your fucking face off. And then you died. And no one will mourn you. Here in the cemetery. But yeah, again, I really do appreciate that they put a memorial tower into Sinnoh. Because... It's interesting that the very first Pokemon game had uh, the Memorial Tower of Lavender Town. And then they're like, oh, whoopsie doopsie, let's take it out in Johto. And then there really wasn't one in Hoenn. And then they're like, hey, let's put another one here. It's not as, like... It's not as, like, grandiose. As Lavender Town, it doesn't seem to have any story significance like Lavender Town. But it's nice that it exists at the very least. Man, now I'm thinking that Legends Arceus should have had a graveyard in the rough place that... Well, then again, maybe it did on Brain. Maybe it had implied graveyards. There's one in Yanoba. That's nice. I like it when Pokemon games just have that. Just adds a little bit. Just a little bit to it. To the world. And that's nice. It's nice when the game actually has that little bit. Oh, there is also a graveyard you can visit in Legends Arceus. It's been a bit since I've played Legends Arceus, so I'm probably just forgetting. Could be forgetting, could be I'm just dumb, who knows. Come along, Shine. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can find Alder in the graveyard visiting his dead Pokémon. Interesting. <laughs> Saving a lot of data. Might as well save, just in case. Oh, not grave out the tower. Ah, and Yanova. Makes sense. Now I w <laughs> Now my brain has gone, man, I wish that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon had a graveyard that you could just go into and visit. Just as a thing you can do. It's been a while since I played Black and White, though. Understandable. What's Odd Incense? Ah, boost the power of Psychic type for... Oh, no, I, I'm wrong one entirely. I am fool. God damn it, I over I overtyped. Because I was trying to go down. And then brain went bleh. Experience share. I mean, there was like an inside of a mountain graveyard in Hoenn. Hmm. I guess I kind of glossed over it, I guess, when I got there. Could be, could be. It's been a bit since I played Hoenn. Like... 
over a year, and Hoenn didn't really stick with me that much. I want to pick all the berries. The berries are mine to be picked. They're my berries, you see. The ass pear berry. Oh god, I just had a thought. What if you, like, played a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, and you, like, got close to a Pokemon in story, and they're made to be, like, a friendly, made to be nice, then they die in the story, and all this time there was, like, a graveyard you could visit, and then after that you can visit their grave in the graveyard? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh no. Exactly. Wouldn't it be just an amazing time? Another, like, stage for the game to emotionally destroy us? My Pokemon toughened up while working on the ranch. I'm right proud of him. And even to go further... Like, uh... I think I brought it up... Once before. I think somebody... I forget, but... I once mentioned the idea of, like, a playable epilogue where the the main character, like, does their typical I am gone goodbye. And then there, I, fig I hypothesized, what if there was a Mystery Dungeon game where there was a playable epilogue? Where you played as just the partner coping after the main character left? Apply the same thing. Playable epilogue with the partner... And then if you go to the graveyard, there is a empty grave with a headstone for the human who is gone. Because, effectively, they are dead. Wouldn't that also be fun? What is your favorite and least favorite mainline Pokemon game? Because out of all the Pokemon games that I have played, I have played Blue, Yellow, Gold... Oh, no, no, yeah, Gold, Crystal, Emerald, Pearl, Platinum, Y, but only a little bit, Legends Arceus. I've, I think, basically, I think I've played half of the Pokemon series mainline. So out of that, Legends Arceus' favorite. Straight up. Least favorite, probably Emerald. Emerald just felt a bit too... bleg. Like, Emerald felt like the gym leaders were a little too difficult at times. But not even in a, oh, they stomped me, but in a... I could maybe win, but this is painful. Also, that one lady, the fire lady, who had her TM on every single one of her Pokemon and then just nukes you? Annoying. <laughs> Fucking Christ, that's dark. Here's hoping a new PMD game is announced on Pokemon Day. I want Mystery Dungeon to rip out my heart. So you haven't played 5, 7, 8, and 9, basically. Have not played Black and White, Black and White 2, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. Technically didn't really beat X and Y, so I don't really think you can say that I really have a full opinion of that game. Or like that generation. Uh, Sword and Shield haven't played. Scarlet and Violet haven't played. Flannery. Yeah, Flannery is a cheatsy bitch. She had her main move, her gimmick move on all of her Pokemon. In Emerald. As long as there's a road, we'll keep running. Are you sure you're not just running from your fate? I'm taking a rest. If I were a bird Pokemon, I would roost. Haha. <laughs> you should rest up too. Obtain HM55 billion nine. If they had to keep flying forever, bird Pokemon would eventually crash. X and Y were truly the games of all time. It's not even like I don't remember them. It's just that I... Like, you get, you're going to have Ponyta. I need to get Indigo out of here. It's just that I haven't played them. Like, I played X and Y. Like, I played Y, I believe. 
a long time ago. Ho, oh, ho, 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 I'll show y'all how tightly I bonded with my daughter. Sweet home, Alabama. I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. Yeah, like, I played Y a long, long time ago. And, like, don't really remember much, except that I got a Sylveon. And I really liked that. I was breeding Eevees. And I remember liking what I played, but I don't really remember all that much of what was going, like, of what happened, because it's been so long. Because it also doesn't help that Pokemon games, like, it takes a very good story in a Pokemon game to really stick out. And even then, you only really remember the broad strokes. Whereas for... So, like, I don't really recall too much of why from what I played. I enjoyed it. It was cool. And I don't think I remember being annoyed at anything while I played it. It's just that it's been so long and I didn't play it a lot that I don't really have much of an opinion on it. If I were a bird Pokemon, I would be Piddove. I will not el elaborate further. X and Y were the Pokemon games to beat then, but then they one up them with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Also, I've not played those. I forgot those existed. They brought us the best, like, redesigns of Archie and Maxi. Very disappointed they went with the classic designs for Rainbow Rocket. That's like the only thing I really know about Rainbow Rocket. They decided to not go with the most interesting designs of characters. In my opinion, the top stories of the franchise are Black and White, Sun and Moon, and Scarlet and Violet. Interesting. Yeah, because out of the ones that I have played... The stories are mostly, uh, you randomly run across a crime, like, fa like a crime guild, and you utterly annihilate them, and then you become Pokemon Master. And then it was, you randomly run across Pokemon Guild 2, and become a Pokemon Master, and defeat the last Pokemon Master. And then, the world is going to hell, stop it, and you become a Pokemon Master. Like, overall, not much story there. Archie and Maxi went from lame nerd and man-child to cool scientist and badass pirate. One thing I will always remember of Archie is a meme that was going around at the time where it's like a 3D model, like, being utterly dragged about to, like, some kind of song. And I think it's like, Get down, do da da dee da da do da do dee da dee da dee As just the 3D models just going crazy. Uh, and that's, I saw <laughs> Archie <laughs> in that one. That was funny. Uh, sadly, I think that video doesn't exist anymore. Sadness. Yay, we're gonna battle with lots of Pokemon. Yay, we're all going to battle. The three I mentioned actually get pretty deep in the story with Team Plasma becoming eco-terrorists in the sequels. Neat! Very neat. I do like it, like... It is a weird thing where... I mostly, like, am, like, fine with, like, uh, Pokemon stories. Like, oh, they're just... Bibbledy-bop vehicles for, like, the experience of catching Pokemon, going on adventure. Why didn't you use an electric move? You idiot. You utter buffoon. You meringue. You dumbass. You stupid child. Are, did they go out of their way to give the stupid child stupid AI too? What the fuck? But, yeah, like, there is a reason why Mystery Dungeon is my favorite, like, Pokemon 
game of all? Like, if we include spinoffs into what's your favorite Pokemon game. Oh, hey, a critical hit that actually worked. was actually kind of mattered. Ish. Like, Mystery Dungeon is my, like, my favorite game of all time. Explorers of Sky. Because it's just fantastic. Just utterly fantastic. A great experience. Hey, check this out. Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur. We found the Pokemon, <laughs> the Pokephiliac. Well, he is a breeder. Let that child alone. Are you going to be... S yep, you're smart enough to use electric move. I say X and Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire, Ultra Sun and Moon, and Scarlet and Violet. Black and White, Sun and Moon, and Legends Arceus are my top favorites. Those are my favorite along with the Mainline series. Also, I forgot to add Legends Arceus. I like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon from a gameplay perspective, but I like Sun and Moon's story more. Well, great. That just means I have to play Sun and Moon and then Ultra Sun and Moon on their own. Alrighty then. Apparently different story. Did not know that. How dare you look it. Get confused, idiot. How dare you survive? Are you gonna kill me? You didn't kill me, idiot. Instead, I kill you. And then I get, like, no experience because I actually got pretty decent experience. It just got uh, split up a lot. Ultra Sun Ultra Moon um, removes a lot of core plot with Lily and Lusamine, and I really don't like that about it. That's weird. Why'd they do that? Why not keep it and then just add more like you typically would? Like, I know that it has to, like, add some things, but, like... You'd think, like, that makes it feel like it's a midway between Black and White 2 and, like, the other third versions. Hey, hey, did you take a good look? Not really. Are you going to play both Black and White and 2? Yep, because I do know that those are quite different from one another. So you can't really get a full thing. Because, like... When it comes to, like, Pokemon 3rd versions, I don't really feel much want or need to play, like, the initial version and then the 3rd version. Because usually the 3rd version is the normal version, but then they added stuff. Maybe changed some things, but they're inconsequential to the, like, expanded experience. Like, Pokemon Yellow adds more things, changes a few things, but the things they replace are kind of normal, and so you just get more out of it overall. Platinum is just like a definitively better version, apparently. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my very best. Hello, Magby. Get annihilated, Magby. <laughs> Apologies, but I'm not going to read that chat just because it goes into the story that is replaced, and I don't want to be too spoiled for when I get to it, so that then I can potentially also be disappointed <laughs> when I get there. But yeah, it just feels weird that they would go halfway and, like, potentially add story things with, like, whatever they actually do add. I don't know. But then get rid of some of the previous story when, like, couldn't they just add it on top or were they like, oh, we have to do this Why Add more. 
if it's just like if it's gonna be a weird diddly dee, I don't understand. It's like we're gonna make two versions that are kind of the third versions, but at the same time we're gonna replace things. F freshly squeezed milk. What's with all the Psyducks? Howdy, travelers. Some of our customers are rowdy types that want to battle. Do what you will of them. I don't mind. Youngster, you've seen the Psyduck huddle outside. Psyduck of Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. I'm a collector and I love honey. Yeah, I don't get why they didn't add on top of it instead of just replacing it. Nothing wrong with making the game a bit longer. Yeah, because it's just like... Like... Because if they were like, oh, people already know the story, and we're adding things, like, I don't know, it's just like... I don't think there's a good justification for removing story. Because, like, maybe they could go, oh, people already know the story, because this is, like, third version, but two of them... But then, at that point, why not just entirely have an original story in the vein of, like, Black 2, White 2? Alright, a very nice crit. Huzzah. What have you done to my Pokémon? You fought me. <laughs> Psyduck roadblock. That's one thing that I remember of, like, a meme of Pokémon. It's just like... Today we're dancing for no reason. Tomorrow we'll disappear for no reason or something. Welcome, this place is my pride and joy. But yeah, that just makes no sense. If you're going to change, like, the story... Or, like, add story, but then not go all the way... And then, like, change things... I don't know, it just feels weird. It feels very, very weird and, like, half-assed. My problem is that it's less they know the story because they just remove story, not even just hold it in, just cut from canon. Then that's very weird. Then it almost feels like a, well, people already played the story. Let's cut it down so they can get to the other story faster. Which at that point, again, why not just make, like, a full-on third version so that you don't have to do that. But I guess... And again, they could have just done... X... Like, black and white too. Kind of thing. Overall, same thing. Same world. But change things. Change story. Advance things. <laughs> you want to join those dancers who are there for no reason and disappear for no reason. We were having a heated discussion over Pokemon the way collectors do. Ah, shit, a bug. You bastard. Bug, 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 yeah, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon sound... Weird overall. If that's their dealio. Knowledge alone isn't everything you know. What you having? Of course, all we have is moo moo milk. Sure, I'll, I'll take a moo moo milk, I guess. Four times damage. The Psyducks are standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. But what if I battled them like Snorlax? Don't get me wrong. I love Ultra Sun and Moon, but they could have handled the story a lot better. Ain't that just how it is? It's like, I like it, but man... There's that one thing! 
where you just go, I love this thing. But, yeah, it's kind of like me with uh, Mystery Dungeon to a degree, where I love the world, I love how they write the characters in them so far, I love the overall idea, the Mystery Dungeons themselves, the concept, but man, the gameplay, I wish it was a different genre. <laughs> Again, I would still keep the overall dungeon delving aspect, but I would like it if it was, like, a 3D hack and slash beat em up. Just make it a bit more intriguing. I'm a treasure hunter. Today, the loot is a victory from you. Maybe the real mystery dungeon was the friends we made along the way. And that they're always changing. And you get lost inside them. Imagine a roguelike mystery dungeon game. But well, that's already what it is. Unless you, like, uh, at least from the gameplay perspective. Because that, that would also still be a thing. You'd still go into randomized layout dungeons with randomized loot and enemies. Just change the combat. And I, th I would personally very much super like the game. But that's just me. Imagine a Pokemon Dynasty Warriors game. The problem there would be how you would, like, overall decide what you would do, which Pokemon you would have. Like, uh... Then again, the concept of, like, a trainer fighting in a war, throwing out Pokemon to fight would be interesting. I don't know, man. My only experience of a roguelike is Shovel Knight Dig. I don't know this shit. <laughs> roguelike is based off of... Because it's rogue-like because it's a genre that is trying to be like the very, very old game called Rogue. In which Rogue was uh, basically Mystery Dungeon to a degree. You would, uh, it was very simple graphics and you would basically play this dot. And this dot would go through these like uh, dungeons and uh, basically, yeah, dungeons. And the dungeons would randomize, loot would be randomized. And if you died, you would lose everything. So there, that's why there's like rogue likes and rogue lights. And to the point that the genre basically means in the actual gameplay, you go through runs and cycles that change every single time. I can't win. You're too strong for me to win. <laughs> Some of them are more intense, like The Binding of Isaac. The entire game is roguelike, where if you die, you... Well, then again, no, it's kind of... That's the thing with a lot of roguelikes now, is they like to have an overarching sense of progression. So you get upgrades, or you unlock new things that you can find in there. Uh, Want to play D&D? Yeah, I love Dungeons and Dragons. What the fuck is Dungeons and Dragons? I mean Dungeons and Dungeons. <laughs> do unto others as they do unto you. Yep, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you do that in real life, there'll be no end to the fighting, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, roguelike is basically... You go into a cycle of... Oh, I need to give... Damn it. Let me look over everybody, because yeah, I know you can learn. Dilly D. I don't want to get rid of Foresight. Monster Hunter style Pokemon game would be cool. Eh. Personal... Well, it depends on what you mean by Monster Hunter type. Because the idea of maybe, like, uh, a Pokemon Ranger game where you need, like, uh, so you still need to fight giant Pokemon and, de like, dodge around because, like, oh, they're going to smash you or they're going to crash you. But, like, you're still trying to bring down Pokemon and maybe to bring them in to save them from something. That could be cool. Of course, we'll store you away. 
bring in Scarlet, and then probably immediately come back and grab you again. You know, at this point, I wonder why we can't just, like, trade out our Pokemon on the go from the storage system. We have Rotom phones. Why not be able to hook that up into the network? So that way we can just swap on the fly. I think that'd be cool. I don't know, man. I'm desperate for more Pokemon spin-offs. I'm tired of the mobile game's mood. Because, like, there is definitely a way to do Monster Hunter but Pokemon, but still have it be definitively Pokemon. That isn't just, like, uh... Edgy, grim, dark, aha, you're killing Pokemon. You come along with your heart pounding. You think you can win like that? Yeah! <laughs> Although, personally, when it comes to, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I wouldn't mind if the story gets a bit darker. Like me, I'm the type of person that's like, oh, I wouldn't mind there being a little bit of blood, death, violence maybe even a dam or two in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But I don't think going full hardcore in, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon would work too well. Because you still need to keep the vibes. If you change something's vibes too much, it, it, it just loses something. There's a reason why, like, Legends Arceus is cool, because it's still Pokemon, they just tweaked the vibes. So the initial Pokemon vibes are still there, but they're off. They're different. So that kind of raises things there. I'd literally take Pokemon Bread Cooking Simulator, and I'd be content. Like a slice-of-life Pokemon game. Where you're like, ooh, Pokemon help you do things in the normal world. That might be interesting. I heard something about d and I had a character for a campaign with, uh... Time 680 to Arcana Aesthetics and History. Oh, plus X instead of plus. Still no idea how you got 680, unless I'm reading that wrong. Why is the fist plate just here? Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Well, that's a lie. There's three. Well, I guess I'll fight you, since I'm here. Check the sharpness of my fighting moves. But I do wish that there were more spin-off Pokemon games. Like, come on, Pokemon Company! Ah, shit. You're part poison type, so I don't think this is gonna work too well. But yeah, just like... The Pokemon Company could just... Go and... Like, I don't know, get like Monolith Soft to make a Pokemon game. Then again, I think Monolith Soft actually helped with a Pokemon game. So, or was that Breath of the Wild? I forget. Oh, wait a minute, I just remembered! Uh, buh 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 I remember seeing a tweet talking about a game that uh, Game Freak is, like, helping another company work on, I think, Private Division? And all we have to go on is, like, a single piece of, uh... Concept art. Well, it, uh, I, it'd be hilarious if it was Pokemon-based, but it probably wouldn't be. I've, n I've literally never seen gameplay of D&D, &D, and I have zero idea what the hell any of that means. Well, technically, you can't really see the gameplay of Dungeons & Dragons. Because it's a tabletop game. Pen and paper, like, uh... Sure, some people get minis and dice and, like, mats with, like, uh, art on them. But you could do it theater of the mind, where just like you, they tell you what happened, kind of things. I am a fool. I forgot to actually get my goddamn Pokemon back. Bear, bear, bear. I'd probably be the least fun person to play D&D &D because I would just cheat. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like, when you're playing D&D, &D, you're trying to play D&D. &D. If you undermine all that, just like, what's the point of you even playing? You bet your ass I'm rigging the dice. Well, that's a terrible thing to do. Shame on you. The point of playing D&D &D is to, like, experience that. 
Like, sure, like, the dungeon master can rig the dice from time to time to highlight or, like, heighten the experience for players, but when players cheat at the dice, it's like, why are you even here? If you want to win everything, just go write a story where your OC wins the day. You little drumpkin. I think all that is is berries, so I shouldn't care. Yep, it's just berries. I don't care about you berries. <laughs> More so I would jo give myself a laser gun or something. Technically, your dungeon master could probably, like, authorize a, like, in-universe laser gun if you can justify it. But it would still need, like, stats and, like, limitations and stuff. So bibbledy bibbledy bee. Hmm. You're part flying, aren't you? Can I blackmail the dungeon master? He could just shoot you with a real laser gun. How dare you know false swipe, but not me. Also, why would you even use false swipe? Kind of disturbing that a wild Pokemon has false swipe. That kind of implies that it wants to keep its prey alive longer. Goodbye, Soifa. I took too much hits from you for you to have lived and died. Huh, if I wanted to, I could just skip ahead. Who wants to skip ahead? Hello, Meryl. What are you doing here? Just to die? I will try to catch you. If you die, you die. Thank God it missed. That's not what I want. I want to go over here. But yeah, I just... I really wish that the Pokemon Company would give the Pokemon license to more developers to play with. So that we could get more cool Pokemon things. There does come the risk of overexposure. The oil-filled end of its tail floats on the water. It keeps Meryl from drowning even in a strong current. But the problem is, like, uh, over overexposure is a thing. Like with uh, Star Wars. Because Disney just went, Star Wars everywhere, and now it's not special anymore. Why a Meryl? I don't know. Meryl could be useful. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger! I don't think that's how it works. Krogunk shall die today. Go back to the guild, Krogunk, you silly little butt-shaped head man. It's shuddering and anticipating. Patient to watch you die! And then it died instead. Funny little man. Hmm. Do I even care about Calm Mind? I don't. Calm Mind is just buff and... Why buff when I can kill? You bastard. Metatite is psychic fighting. Bird time. Bird up! I just realized we've been going for four hours. So I guess after we beat this guy, we'll stop. I was hoping to get to, like, the next town or something, but... Ah, we've just been meandering. Such is the life of Pokemon. Ring continues to fall. We didn't really do that much. But at the same time, we kinda did. But we kinda didn't. 
feels weird. This entire stream just passed in a haze before me. How dare you survive? <laughs> what, you're like, oh no, a Staravia. I better make sure it doesn't use double team instead of just outright murder me. And once again, a critical hit that was meaningless because it just happened at the end of the Pokemon enemy's life. Meh. I should be lighter by the amount of sweat I just shed. But yes, I do believe that that shall be it for now. Like, I might go and evolve Zoro during the day. Or, like, maybe... Mm, I don't really care to, like, evolve Zoro on screen. Like, once we get to, like, Iron Island or wherever, we get a Riyalu. And Riyalu is ready to, like, evolve. But I just need him. Because I think it is friendship during the day. I will do an earlier stream. <laughs> is blood just colored sweat? Nah. Sweat is just, like, uh, actual water coming down from your body to try and cool you down, whereas blood has many more functions inside the body, and not so many outside the body. Very different functions. But yeah, that'll probably be it, where I might just have an earlier stream to evolve. Either that, or I could try and, I don't know, muck with the the emulator's time settings, because I'm sure I could probably do that somewhere. There's probably a way to mess with those. <laughs> Maybe. DS emulators are weird. That's right, Rialu evolved in Lucario via high friendship during the day. No idea why. That seems like a weird thing. You'd think it would just be high friendship. Apparently, Lucario is Superman. He needs the sun. Stream on Saturday at 5? Yep. If everything goes according to yes... Next stream should be Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because I am trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time just to, like, actually have a schedule this year, which, hey, actually seems to be working. <laughs> People can actually catch my streams because I'm not just going ri live randomly. Back in the day, I just say, I go live at this time randomly. I used to post, like, oh, I'm going live on Twitch to my, like, Twitter, but, like, there was no crossover between my Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter, really. None at all. So there was no point to it. <laughs> also, beautiful that you may use my time zone. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll, I'll try to maybe think of a way to mess up the, the time in the game, maybe. Because I think it actually, the emulator hooks into the PC's time, and that's how it does it. Hmm, do no idea. But, yeah, we did a decent amount of things, learned that I suck at contests, died to the ghost lady once because how dare she have magic leaf? Everything has magical leaves in this game. Yeah. And uh, we went, cleared off that tower, got defog, which I guess is technically optional, but very annoying if you don't have it. Mm. And... Yeah, just wandering around, trying to get further. We beat Barry. That was fun. Pokemon. It's a fun time. It was mostly me going, I can't wait for Pokemon Day. I hope there's me putting on my clown nose, honk honk. I can't wait for there to be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon news on Pokemon Day. Yes, sirree. Next year is the 20th anniversary. Surely the Pokemon Company will care, honk honk. Yeah. But. Yes. That should be it. If you want more from me, dear peoples, I have a link tree where I put where there are links to everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash neon icy wings. Direct link in the description bios and link places of all the different sites. And so if you want edited YouTube content, gaming YouTube content, live streaming from YouTube or Twitch, uh, drawn art made by me. I'm very slow. I've yet to begin the Cresselia meme because my brain is being a bitch towards me and attacking my self-confidence. Mm. I really should just make it. It's very simple. It's just Cresselia's head and neck, really. 
it's not all that much. Granted, I also need to learn how to draw lightning, but nah, the tutorials exist. And da -da -da -da. Uh, if you want to see writing from me, those are also in the link tree. And if you're feeling exceptionally kind, my Patreon, which I treat as a little like a donation jar, also in my link tree. So yes, just like if you want to see anything else that I do, video making, writing, streaming, streams of YouTube's past, art, anything, all through the link tree. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching everybody. And I hope to see you all next time. Remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind. Bye. Bye.